Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Mm. Do you want the jaw shooter ones? Do you want these jaw shooter ones, bro? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> up guys hope you're all having a great time out there hope you're all doing well welcome back to episode 70 of the shoot up podcast and um yeah bro do you want those jar shooter ones bro <laughs> bruh bruh <laughs> somebody, some, you know let me let me bring it back up somebody purpose custom fit and the logo to look mm-hmm. like josh dunking but he's shooting dunking yeah, he's, 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 he's jordan shooting <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the jump man, but instead of the ball, he got the pistol. It took me a second. He the, got the, no, 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 the gunman, the gunman, gunman, <laughs> gunman. That's what it is. Yeah. Instead of jump man, it's gunman. Who gets the gunman? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I saw that's that. I saw that the other day and I was laughing. I was I was in stitches, bro, because basically I I looked at that and said, bro, they they they're doing the utmost to um to get, let Jar know what Jar done. <laughs> hey man. That guy, that guy's, he'll miss, man. He'll miss. And the commission, <laughs> listen, the commissioner ain't playing. Yeah. What's, what's he, happened so far? What's the update? Um, a reporter asked the commissioner about it um, during the press conference. Obviously, like, we're in the, we're in the finals right now, right? <clears throat> this is the big show for the league. Yeah. Outside of the All-Star game is the NBA it's finals. It's big show. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, Adam Silver ain't no fool. He not finna do this while the finals going on. Yeah. yeah. But rest assured, <laughs> within probably the next week after the finals, because I think the decision I already made. You reckon? Yeah. But, um, you know, for the sake of the league's appearance, you know, they're going to let the game play out end of the season, crown the champion, parade, celebration, blah, 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 for about four or five days, and then we're going to hear what's going to happen with Jock. He probably going to get yeah. about 25, 30 games, something like that. I, um, you reckon? Yeah, he's going he gonna to have to get some games, bro. Because he but did. The, the, he, the they gave is- him eight. The first time they gave him eight games and um, time he had time served because he had already missed, like, three or four games uh, from yeah, yeah. the team suspending him. Okay. So he only missed really eight games. Like it wasn't, it wasn't, it, the sentence didn't, didn't start after the verdict. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they prorated the right. sentence. You know what I mean? So he but, but really I got, I got, and, and they say he went to some little rehab clinic in Florida. Did he really? Well, it looks from that from the actions, it doesn't look like he learned anything because basically, I think that's detrimental. Well, that, that's, that's, what the, the, that's what the commissioner said. Um, um, I'm sorry to cut you off. The commissioner said they have done further investigation, blah, 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 blah. And it was the further investigation piece of what he said, I think, that made the the most sense for my argument. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. It, bro, it's the NBA. Like, it's one of the most powerful organizations in the world. You know what I'm saying? I, it's a lot I, of I agree with that. It's a lot I, of I agree them, with but that. the NBA is one of them. It's, the NBA is a huge corporation. Yeah, I, but the thing is, I, think, I think it's more detrimental to the player because if you really think about it, if you if he had eight games off, he hasn't learned his lesson and obviously he's done so what he's done, that basically it means he might get banned for 20 games. What my discussion and what my thought process is, you're going to let this guy have 20 games off, even eight games is too much, 20 games off, right? Uh, or 20, whatever, however much he gets. He's just going to have time on his hands to do stupidity again. And that's the problem with the situation is you you let some, a player like that sit around, he's going to do something. Well, he got to figure it out, bro. Yeah. I, I understand what you're saying. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? I, I, agree. Yeah. I agree with you 100%. Um, but this is where John Morant has to think about the 
what he has to lose. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And and I agree. And I agree. It's it's on him to be to be better. But unfortunately, what happens is when you got idle well, what do you call it? Idle hands cause chaos. Um so right. basically, um you do you do nothing, you haven't got nothing to do, you get agitated, you want to do something, you want to go out, you want to go out with your friends, you end up going out with your friends, all of a sudden you get up wrapped up in an altercation, you you're not supposed to be in that altercation. So I'm saying you if you yeah. were if you were playing well, then he, yeah. he's busy. Like I don't I don't think he has um too much outside of basketball going on. Okay. <clears throat> honest with you. So he's just kicking it. You know, he he's he young. He's just kicking it. He's got a lot of money. He can do what he want to do. I mean, when, you, when you're when not hooping, I can only imagine, bro. Like, for, we all know guys like John Morant. They're just not millionaires. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> imagine... Yeah. <laughs> Imagine certain people that you know. Uh, they might not even be in your life, but people that you yeah. come across, people that you met, I know old acquaintances or whatever. <laughs> Imagine these people with a hundred million dollars, bro. Their life the, will be chaos. Bro, beyond chaos. And I think sometimes this is a, a blessing for them not to have that capability because basically it's a self-destructive capability. He got to turn and, it off, bro. He got. I mean, ain't ain't no ain't no way around it. He just got to turn it off. You have to change. You have to try and change human nature because that's if if your if your human nature is to go and do chaos and and go and just flash and flash and be you know uh, um it's like a boy's thing like oh yeah look at me I've got this I've got that no 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 no, 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 no. calm down if, calm down if if that's what he's gonna do um I I would hate to see it you know we we've seen it before with um other players you know Lamar Odom Delonte West. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like, I hate to see it, but it's it's possible. We can't say yeah. we can't say it's not possible. I don't want that for him. I'm not I trying to speak that. I want the best for him. I want the best for him. I'm not trying. You know to speak why? That. Yeah, but I want the best for him. You know why I want the best for him? Because it means we see the best skill set in the NBA. We well, see he, the best players in the NBA. Bro, he wanted. He already wanted the best players. Like. All he had yeah. to do was, you know what? And we can, I want to end it here. Yep. This is what Kobe Bryant was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is what Kobe, if I Kobe was here, if Kobe was here, Kobe, Kobe would have snatched John up. I think. Yeah. And then, and, and, and to Kobe still, bro. Hmm? Dudes would be flocking to him still. I think. Yeah. He, he, Just, he, he is, I'm gonna take it deep right here, kind of, kind of a little sideways deep. Kobe, in my opinion, should have been to these young guards what Akeem Olajuwon ended up being to the young big men. Because yeah. When Akeem Olajuwon in the summertime would work out with these young bigs and teach them footwork, guess who else went mm-hmm. to learn footwork from Akeem Olajuwon? Kobe. Yeah. Tracy McGrady. You know, like some of the greatest players ever learn from the dream. I, I was thinking about this independently, just on thinking about basketball the other day. <clears throat> Akeem Elijah was at a certain point going to get too old to be able to, you know, physically be out there teaching you stuff. Yeah. Who's, who's, I don't know who that is for this generation. Maybe it'll be LeBron when, when he done. Um, but like, cause KG don't do it. Um, no, T Mac don't do it. Vince don't do it. Don't that that I know of. Cause when Akeem did it, we knew about it because it was recorded and it was put out to to show. This is was this was a weird was real right here. Maybe, <clears throat> maybe it was maybe it was going to be Kobe that took over that. I don't know. But it may it's but obviously obviously it's passed away. Mike don't do it. I mean, <laughs> bro, why Michael Jordan don't teach these young players one on one? Like teach them. You own the team, bro. This is your investment, and you keep getting these high draft picks, these guards, and these these wings. Why not get real with them? Like get to know them for real, and get down with them, and really show them the fucking Jordan way. 
Yeah, yeah. Cool. I don't know. I I I, I, oh, I don't know, bro. I, that, that's that's one one thing I don't understand. Michael Jordan's the best player ever. I, I think. Well, he took Kobe in under his wing. Um, he took a couple of other players. LeBron. I think he's got to his training camps and stuff like that. But I don't know. I don't know, bro. That just made me mad, man. I'm sorry. Did it? <laughs> I'm sorry. You know why? Because this is just you know, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, I know why. Because you want the best for the NBA. You want to see the best skill set, the best plays, the best matches with the best skill players. And I understand that because obviously nobody nobody wants to see two bombs boxing, do they? No. Exactly. Exactly. That's, that's, well, yeah, man. Shout out, uh, shout out to uh, Nikola Jokic, man. He, they, we calling him. People calling him the best player in the NBA right now, based mm-hmm. on what he's doing. He, he is making. He's doing. He making it look easy. <clears throat> him and Mar- Murray. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out another shout out to Jimmy Butler. Um, he ain't scared. Hey, but who, who you got your money time, on? Because you know, every, because uh-oh. you know, last week. Go, go ahead, go ahead. No, because you know, last week we were talking about um, the Celtics being three 0 down. They come back to three three, and you were like, okay, right, right. yeah, because and and you, you and we, we just realized that nobody's done the sweep. No, nobody's come back from a sweep like a three 0 down. No, ever. Nah, it's hard to win four straight when you've lost already. Three, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, three in a row. Right. <laughs> it didn't it didn't happen for him. But um Denver won game one of the NBA finals convincingly. Jokic showed out, Murray showed out. Um the the others for Miami, meaning it meaning everybody except um Bam and Jimmy. Didn't play too well, so Miami wasn't looking right. But for all three Miami Heat championships, the two with LeBron and uh, the one with Wade and Shaq, <clears throat> they none of those teams won Game One. Mm, yeah. So yeah. history is on Miami happens. side. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's see what happens. But guys, I forgot to mention. Please do like, follow, subscribe, come and chat to us. Have a conversation, guys. Go and follow 808 Kicks ATO, the bro. And also mm-hmm. come follow me. I love Kick Customs. So 808 Kicks ATL and um, Love Kick Customs. We're on the socials. Uh, we're on um, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Um, and obviously, go and listen to us on, um, if you are, if you have uh, audio channels, go and listen to us on the podcast or the audios, which is I, I, iTunes and all of that stuff. Uh, yeah. Google Podcasts, all of that stuff, guys. But today, let's go into these quick strikes, bro. You ready? You ready for these quick strikes? Because today it's um, is it? It's been quiet, but you know what we discussed last week? We discussed this last week, bro. Um, we discussed how important Travis Scott is at the moment. We discussed how important he is to Nike and Jordan brand, and also now we're discussing another sneaker that actually could be coming our way. And th- this is, um, if I can get it up quickly to show you, this is uh, the Jordan Three. Travis Scott, which which is now seems to be more of a rumor that's coming true. If you if you finna pull up, what I think you finna pull up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna try and pull this up. I don't know why I can't find it now. I can find. It. There you go, bro. This is um this is basically what it looks like, or what what the mockups thinks it's gonna look like. Um, it might be the Air Max. It might look like the Air Max One sat in gold. It, it kind of looks like the pure money freeze. Um, very much like the pure money freeze. It's got a little bit of that reverberation on it. I don't, I don't agree with the, the swoosh. If you put a swoosh on it, then you make it a tinker. Travis, three. No, but, I love I love the back of swoosh on this. This is, a killer, this is a killer mock-up, bro. This is a I don't think it's mock-up. gonna have a swoosh. I don't think it's gonna have a swoosh. It may not, and and, and that's okay. Because we know the the swoosh is um is a relative thing. Yeah. And the, the three has there. There are threes with a swoosh, so yeah. you know it, it may or may not happen. I like it with the swoosh. I like yeah. it like this, um, but I know this this may not happen. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I, you, you know, you know, you know what? I, know, I want a reverse mocha from from Travis Scott. You know the way he got the mocha freeze. Rather than the mocha being on the elephant print, I want the uppers to be that suede brown, um, and then the elephant print to be white. So I want a reverse mocha free. And even if it's got a black swoosh on it, 
uh, that that won't do any harm, you know. But I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, that would be nice. I'm, I'm trying to imagine that with yeah. white white elephant print or sail yeah. elephant print. Yeah, sail so elephant print with the with the brown, with the sweet brown on the uppers. Um, more of that um white elephant print on the like, probably eyelids. What about um, the leather strip? You gonna leave the leather strip leather or make it sweet? The leather switch uh, strip across the medium, right above the leather. Mid-side. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one, bro. That's the Premium one. Tumble print. Tumbled premium everything, bro. <laughs> That's not talking. This is my. I, 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 I heard. I heard. I heard. Nike's looking for innovators. Hint, yeah. hint. <laughs> <laughs> but bro, it, it looks like this could be a possibility this year. Obviously, it looks like Jay Balvin's doing his free, and looks like Travis Scott might be doing free. But this is compounding what we said last week. Travis Scott is essential at this moment in time for Nike, for Jordan Brad, because we saw him wear a couple of silhouettes recently. We've seen rumors on the seven; they died down. We've seen rumors on the three. We've seen rumors on the SB dunk lows and the, there's a rumor that the SB dunk low might be in a mocha variation as well which is similar to the Jordan 1 low mocha because I, I said this a couple of weeks ago I said that it was a natural fit for him to go to the SB lows because they're that, just like the Jordan 1 lows anyway you need this is, to push too yeah bro yeah bro like I, I'm, just, I'm just I'm just because the first the first the first Travis SB is a dope yeah Not my cup of tea necessarily the friends, I'm, the friends and family version, yeah. No, the, what you mean? Yeah, you're actually right. You. Travis SB. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. With the, uh, the blue and you know the paisley and all that. They they was cool. Yeah. Not my cup of tea. I think they stood. He should flip the swoosh every time. Yeah, yeah. Because you you automatically this this is why I said you like if you get the Nike Dunk uh, SB lows. Um, and you could just basically do what you do with the with the Jordan Jordan One, bro. Jordan One low easily because it's pretty much the same sneaker. It's pretty much the same sneaker, bro. Um, yeah. So th- th- there's rumors that the mocker variation might be coming out in the Dunk Lows. That's a rumor. Obviously, we got this rumor with this. We got the rumor with the the, the, uh, the original ones coming back out. We well, got, got rumors with the COJP SB lows too. So they can't look too much like those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black, you know. Let's just see, let's just see, bro. Let's just see, bro. Because basically, it's it's interesting because you know when we when we talk about we always talk about like situations where Travis is the lead man, and this is this is basically next quick strike, bro. This is basically compounding what we've just said because now we're doing kick checks on Travis Scott because look, bro. He's got. He's going up. He, this is a concert in Amsterdam, and, and there's recordings of him with wearing this. Like it looks like that should wear Dunk as well, but a different colorway, uh, with a white swoosh, brown tan. If you can see that, you, if you, it looks like more like the Mocha, Mocha ones. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, Not the Mocha ones, but the, but the orig, original, original, uh, the original Jordan one lows. Scissor in the video too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout. Out. But bro, see what I'm talking about. We're doing kick checks. Like literally, if we are kick checking, Travis Scott, every single thing he's wearing. Because he's him. And we talked just like we said. One of them two things, if not both, yeah. that we said last week. They letting him do whatever he want to do and he just going crazy. Mm-hmm. Or they asking him to do stuff. And promoting, wow, him and he's still doing, yeah. allowing him to go crazy. <laughs> yeah, and, and, you, and you and you was right when you said this is all about Utopia and his new album. And I was like, you know what? That makes sense because it goes hand in hand with but the promotion for Nike sneakers. Letting it's Travis summertime. go crazy. Hey, it's summertime. Travis yeah. gonna run the bag up. Exactly, he bro. Do, he might not do Astro World, but please leave. Is about to go down. He just he just popped on stage with Sizzle. Sizzle one of the biggest artists in in the U.S. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know, I know, bro. Like, I know that. Come, come on, bro. Travis, the album coming. It's finna be a golf shoe. What the golf? You got the golf shoe? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's what that's the next quick strike we're moving on to because basically, um, when we talk about when we talk about being right, we talk about being right because like we made a statement last week, like, um, Travis is doing a lot. Travis is uh, for Nike and Jordan Brand. He's doing the promotion, doing his album, all of that stuff, and all of a sudden we get the, the yeah the Travis Scott Jordan One Low Golf 
And um, just, you know what? It's golf swag. Just, just, just leave it. It's golf swag. Because basically, at the end of the day, yeah, this is the next week's swag, guys. And at the end of the day, um, tr- Nike are just letting him do his thing. And he's doing his thing. And he, he's in, not only is he promoting the brand, he's promoting himself, the album. He's doing everything all encapsulated in one move. And this, this is a brilliant st- strategic plan from Nike and Jordan brand. Strategically, yeah, this, is, this is dope. Looking yeah, like, it's Khaled. Looking like Travis. We, he don't need Khaled nowhere. Khaled needs to stay away from Travis. Are, the, are those fours, bro? He's wearing yeah. fours. He's wearing yeah. the Pine Green SB fours, yeah? It looks it like, looks like it. military black. Does it? It looks green to me from my screen, but it might be military blacks, but it might be the... It could be either. Oh. But they... Are they golf shoes? Are they, is he even wearing golf shoes? I can't tell. I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, apart from that, <laughs> guys, guys no, no, no. you know what? This this, this the picture right here. Yeah. This is it right here. Yeah, this yeah. Is what lets you know, this, this is this is what lets me know. This picture is what lets me know that this shoe is real, despite how janky the photos look. Oh, you mean that those fours? Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, these ones, the Travis Scott low golf. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, these pictures look a little janky to me because the background is cut out. You know. Every time the background cut out, I don't know. Like it could be this could be in the in the rep factory. This could be at Travis yeah. House. This could but we be. know, but but we know there's definitely a Jordan One Low Travis Scott coming out. We know that. You know how many people are gonna start playing golf, bro? <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna start doing nothing, bro. Ain't nobody <laughs> gonna start doing nothing. This this will be the most difficult. And probably end up being the most expensive uh, retail golf shoe. I'm not gonna call it a GR because it's no. not. It, it is Bro, a collab. It, this is so will be impossible to get. Let's the, check me out. So co- a collab is not a GR. Are we going? No. Are we doing that? Yeah, collab is not a GR. So categorically. This will be, I think, the most expensive golf shoe ever. Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna say. I'm gonna say even even when collab, collabs not being a GR, there's there's categories of collaborations. You you can be in the category of collaborations where you are ever a a collaboration with a boutique, a collaboration with the mom and papa shop, and then you go up and up and up and up. a pinnacle of that is obviously Travis Scott. Yeah. I mean, the, wait a minute. No, nah, them not the East size. He should have ride the east side. I know he got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the hardest but, golf shoe to me. This this Travis but, uh this Travis Lowe ain't got nothing on that east side golf uh th- fold. Th- this this situation, this situation, right, reminds me of when um your your cooking Travis is cooking in the in the in the kitchen and he's and he's spinning his um pot, he's spinning his ladle for his pot. And and obviously everybody wants a taste. Everybody needs a taste. Everybody's smelling it, and they're like, "This smells good." I smell the paprika. I smell the garlic and the onions. I smell the Cajun chicken. I smell everything. So I want a piece of that. And then this this smell is trans transluting all the way through the atmosphere. And then you've got people just going, "Follow the smell. Follow the hype. Follow the hype. It's alive." He <laughs> finna rack up this summer. Travis from Go Crazy. Yeah. I told you it's the rise of the Phoenix, bro. <laughs> yeah. He's back. He's back. He's always back. He's been back. But he's about to go in. And we yeah, didn't see bro. we didn't seen and heard of at least five different sneakers from him. I got the best analogy here. We are the public are Hansel and Gretel, and obviously we are looking for we are heading towards right. that candy house. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> we do. <laughs> yeah. He leaves the bread for the show, and we can see. I can see it, bro. When yeah, 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 yeah. It, I ain't heard nothing yet. I'm waiting to hear some. I really, really want to hear. Some. I need a new Travis album. Yeah, exactly. He was he the only thing missing? Because the big the big hitters coming this year. Drake coming back this year. Um, the future should be coming with something this year as yeah. far as what I'm listening to you know like I'm I'm 
<laughs> Wayne outside, like J. Cole outside. You know what I'm saying? He, just, he got the big song with Dirk right now. Dirk just dropped his album. It's um, If you're a Dirk fan, you like it, but, you know, it ain't nothing outside of what he ain't already done. But, uh, yeah, man. I wanted, you, I, you're going to get, get it soon. You're going to get it soon. Don't worry, bro. Ain't no young right. thug. Ain't no Ghana. We need to travel. <laughs> Next quick strike, bro. It is this beautiful thing and you love when this happens because this is a celebration. This is a an applause worthy point of view because bro, basically, let's just put it this way. So um I think this situation happened when uh, a guy missed out on the spider versus um and he son he son was able to cop and then basically I think he put something on his Instagram and jump the Jordan twenty three reached out and sent him a pair to match with his little kid. Like I don't know if you know this story. It look it looks it's a dope dope story. If this is true, I feel this is the package that came with it, and just says um uh, you couldn't we couldn't basically let you have your kid out of sneaker without you having it too because obviously this is what we want. And this and by the way, guys, Jordan Brand was sending out three pairs of Spider Spider verses to um uh, a lot of people uh, as part of this um, whole uh, Marvel and uh, not Marvel Marvel and Disney and um, and sending, Jordan sending, sending pairs to what people. People would keep that showcase the kids, the sneakers with kids. Okay, that's dope. That's 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 so dope, so dope. We couldn't leave, we couldn't leave the dad out of the next chapter. That's dope, bro. If the, if this is if this is true, this is the best best situation. This is absolutely amazing, bro. Yeah, shout out to I like uh, it. shout out to the brand, bro. Yeah, they, they pulled it off. Do it, that when they do it right, they do it really right. And this is a great example of that. And I love this. I love to see it, bro. Love to see it. This 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 kind of we always like to have a feel good factor in um on the pseudo podcast. We uh, for the last couple of weeks we've been having it with donations, charities, uh, and like we even saw Nigel Sylvester doing his bike um charity thing as well, which is which is dope. Um but yeah, but this is another situation where I, f- I found it was quite a dope, dope thing from the brand. Yeah. Let's um to the contrary of that last quick strike, <laughs> I want to show you this, bro. Okay. Shout out to uh, Bleacher Report Kicks. This guy's conversation with a sneaker scammer. So this is a, a Instagram thread. I'm pretty sure you and others that listen to this podcast have received these felonious uh, DMs about hey or or uh, comments tags and comments where yeah. you just won the giveaway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DM, blah, blah, blah. And this then, then goes the scam, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this guy, obviously, um, I think he peaked it and he just wanted to see how far he could take it. I don't, <laughs> I, I, I I don't have time. I like that. I don't I have time like for it, bro. Like, I... I've done it before, and I never thought to screenshot it and post it, but here we go, right? God. <laughs> oh, hold on. I pressed the wrong arrow. <laughs> um, so, Kelly Kicks, right? Congratulations. Once again, <laughs> you won the giveaway sneaker. Dude goes, K. Kelly Sneakers. What are your shoe size? (laughs) (laughs) 11. Okay. Yeah, you just have to pick two pairs of sneakers right now of your shoe choice. Okay. Grammar is horrible, by the way. I'm the grammar police. So (laughs) the dude goes, good Lord. (laughs) Crying crying, (laughs) laughing emoji, right? (laughs) Good lord. Kelly, I'm actually Kelly, one. Kelly Kicks, whose uh avatar is a dot swoosh uh logo, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, pick your uh your choice, man. Do say I would love the belugas and lucky greens. Okay. Kelly Kicks goes this and shows a picture of the lucky green. Yeah. Yep. Kelly Kicks, what's the second choice? Okay. <laughs> Bruh, 
The belugas. She just said it. Right? She just said it. The belugas, <laughs> yeah. I just said the belugas. Yeah. Kelly Keys go send a photo of that. Wait a minute. What? 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 That's, this is where it was already a scam, right? Just from the yeah, conversation, yeah. from, from the, the beginning of the conversation, it was already a scam. But you, yeah, yeah. like, come on, bro. I got to so see no you pictures yeah. of a sneaker that you supposedly have in, in your possession <laughs> already. I wouldn't have said it if I didn't see the picture of it from your profile, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you told him to choose. Yeah. So I said the, the Lucky Greens and the Belugas. And now you you saying, what's the second choice? The Belugas, bro. Send a photo <laughs> of that. The second yeah. option? Yeah. <laughs> so they send a picture of the Beluga and says these. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations once again. What's the shipment address? Sent the shipment address is blurred out for privacy reasons, obviously. Yeah. Kelly Kicks, what's the receiver name? Brandon Campbell. The man put his name out there. Shout yeah. out to Brandon for putting all this on the internet for us to laugh at. <laughs> 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 I, I rock, I'm, I'm with you, Brandon. I rock with you all the way, Brandon. Come on the podcast. Hit us up. I don't know. Kelly Kicks go, cool, hold on. I speak with the, deli- the delivery guys right now. Yeah. Huh? Speak with the delivery. So look at these pictures, bro. This is a picture of the Jordan 1 Lucky Green that just released mm-hmm. a couple months ago. Yeah. And there's a picture of a green and white Jordan 1 looking box. They what box up, does this sneaker go to? Oh, I can't remember, bro. Exactly. It's not the box. It's, it's not, not the box, the box for the, the lucky green. The lucky, no, the lucky not. green Jordan one is a black and green box. Yeah. So that's indication number three or four of of scam alert, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Picture of the belugas, right? You see the picture of the belugas. Why? Why is it uh, a larger picture of the belugas? Because it looks like it's a, it's a, oh, okay, it was in a three fifty box. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, the shoes are already sealed and packed, ready for delivery right now. <laughs> Brandon goes, girly pop, that 350 box is from my account. <laughs> she got it from his account. Bro, look at this picture right here. This next picture that was sent by Kelly Kicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that picture, right? That's the picture of the of the um, back dooring we saw early oh, last year. Pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, as you can see, the delivery guys <laughs> are already sealed and getting arrangements <laughs> for shipping. Okay, that that's a whole lie, bro. That's a whole <laughs> lie. That's a whole that 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 picture's from the back Chicago lost and found back door. That's a lie. That was, bro, that was Christmas time, bro. Kelly kicks. Just totally disregarded the fact that this man just said that picture of the belugas is from my account. <laughs> you just sent me my own picture telling me that this is the package that I'm about to ship. Oh my days. Bro, look at this picture, right? This this next picture it's actually a video. I wish I could play it. Um <laughs> we've seen this video before. So that's another video from another account, right? This video yeah. right here at the top. Yo, man, you can see the process right now. It says Kelly Kicks. Brandon, <laughs> not until I see the hokey poke. Hold on, I skipped the part. I skipped I skipped the best part. So the delivery team is ready to ship, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Brandon say, if I can see a video of someone saying, this is Wyatt's shoes, and then proceed to do the hokey pokey while holding the shoes. <laughs> Turn around and then that's what it's all about. Then I'll believe you. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what? He missed the trick. He should have said, uh, then he has to turn around, do, do the hokey pokey, turn around and say that's what it's all about. That, that was, no. was, he missed the trick, bro. No, that no, no, no. That's the thing. The hokey pokey <laughs> is all that. You can't do the hokey pokey without doing the whole thing. 
If you don't okay, do the whole go, go, thing, go. it's not the if you if you don't, that's what it is all about. And yell hokey pokey at the end is not the hokey pokey. <laughs> So what the man well, saying a, is that's a semi hokey that's a semi hokey pokey hokey hokey. When when the scammer goes, yo man, you can see the process right now. He said, not until I see the hokey pokey. See the hokey pokey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, these these totally different boxes from the previous picture. <laughs> like, so that's somebody else's, right? Now look, you, get these, you can see the delivery guys right now. Where are these boxes? Any of the boxes that we saw in the previous pictures? No. This this a truck full of shoe boxes, not boxed up. Yo, bro, this this this, this scammer is literally taking pictures from and clips from everywhere and just sending them just just to lead him on. And the the thing, the worst thing is these scammers don't realize this guy is just winding them up. Okie cokey cokey cokey. <laughs> Cookie, 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 cookie. Red card, red card for you guys. You scammers yeah. need to know better. You need to know, yo, bro. How can you be a scammer when you don't know anything about sneakers? <laughs> no, no, no. Look, you ready? You ready for the yeah, end? Yeah, Go on, go on. Give it, give us the. T- <laughs> so, more, more, more. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Yeah. So right now, all you have to pay is the shipping fee. Oh, there's the catch. There's the hook with a worm on it. I see now. I see now. What's the shipping fee, bro? I'm going to need about 350 <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yo, I, I, are you taking it around the world twice before you deliver it to me? I'm just curious about that 350 cost, bro. <laughs> <laughs> three fifty, bro. You need a three fifty, man. Bro, bro, so I literally that that's a whole that you can get that parcel to go around the world twice before it's delivered to you. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you can kind of get it to one country, to another country, to another country, to another country, ship it around the world twice, and then get it delivered to you, and it will be less than 350, bro. I'm pretty sure. And for, 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 for me to send you something, it's about 25 to 25 to 30 quid. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure we can do that a couple of times, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 350, bro. Yo, that, you, yo, bro, that, that's pretty much right? That's pretty much. Pay me 350, I'll send you a UA sneaker. Here you go. If you if you get a sneaker, if this you get a sneaker. So this is so cap, bro. This made me laugh. Bro. I had to bring it. I had to bring it. This made me laugh, bro. That's dope. That's quite funny. Was, was that one of your subjects that you mentioned earlier, which was the custom no, the remasters? Was it remasters? No, 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 no. So so let's do that now. Let's do that right now. Okay, okay. Remasters <laughs> it is then, bro. Um people complain. Yeah, yeah. All the time. Every time. Uh there's a re-retro of anything, whether it's an OG or a coveted, you know, limited release or a yeah. super OGR that people been wanting, whatever the case is, we complain every time. Yeah, we do. We do. We always complain because basically, if you're an OG head, you want exactly the same as a, as as it looked like or as it felt like, as it as a material block looks like, and all of that stuff. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. So the brands overcorrect sometimes. <sighs> sometimes they they go left. When they go left, they tend to make it super obvious so we don't even count it right like uh like the jordan 1.5 like we don't count yeah, that. Yeah, yeah yeah you know what i mean but when i saw this post about these uh up tempos the difference between the 96 pair the 2020 pair and the 2023 pair will make you feel like they're like what what happened you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like from yeah the, from the i can see the features to the 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 colors in a way. What, 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 at least the twenty twenty pair looks similar to the nine to nineteen ninety six pair, but like, it, but the, the the air doesn't extend to the bottom. Yeah, the I see that as well, and the shape shapes looks a bit different as well. But um, why do we have block capital font on the twenty twenty three pair, bro? It looks like there's so much shadow on that on that white. The black is not 
uh, extend it far enough. Like yeah, the, onto the, the edges. Head. It look, it look, you know what it looks like. It looked like a kid put the put the what put the what the adult put the ear down, white ear down, and the kid just went and stamped it in, in whatever place relevant. Yeah, so I I didn't, didn't want to go too deep with this. I just wanted to bring that up because we gotta stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna happen. But this this post kind of made me come to terms with the fact that it's just gonna happen. Bro, you, the thing is, I I do feel like sometimes maybe the the brands lose the original models or the or the costs yeah. and and then you have to kind of re, re, re replicate what they what it was like before, but then you have to grab a, another old sneaker to kind of re replicate it. But unfortunately, they're all not not DS, they're V and DS, so all you have to kind of go off a off a margin that you don't understand. But then you have to kind of make it as close to possible as the retros as possible. It's mm. hard, bro, because we're talking about thirty five years of from from Jordan brand. We're talking about thirty five years of innovation and, and and stuff like that even more than that with the jordan one but like it's hard bro it's hard to do yeah. so we're coming we're coming up to 40 nearly 40 years of jordan ones in, in what is it um 2025 is that right yeah so right. like f- bro we're, talk- we're talking about long periods of time where the, all the all the craftsmanship so god all the crafters have gone the the tools have gone the tools have been updated they've been modernized but it's hard it's hard you know what I love it. That was a great segue. Yeah. Watch this, bro. Um, for, for everybody out there that's listening and, and can't see what I'm about to play. Um, and this this is what you just you showed us at the beginning. Yeah, the jaw shooter ones, bro. <laughs> bro, the way this man fixed this Jordan 1, I didn't think was possible. Yeah. This is amazing, dog. This man literally put together a corner. I saw this video, bro. I didn't click on it to watch it, and I'm glad I didn't because we're actually looking at it on the podcast. Yeah, he bu- he builds... You know when... Like, you guys, I'm going to give a description to you, but you know when you have a Jordan 1 and it's actually worn to worn past the midsole? No, outside. And in, yeah, it's got, you've got heel drag. It's worn past the outsole to the midsole. So the guy, what the guy is doing is actually taking the, part, the chunk away where it's actually worn down, and repl- like basically modeling an a, additional back for it and actually gluing it, sanding it, making it look like it's brand new um and then giving it like a like a new life rather than doing a soul swap he's actually legitimately re- putting a unit down to replace the union that's gone absolutely dope i i do i i think i scrolled across this and i didn't watch it but i was gonna watch it with you anyway so yeah i'm glad you brought it up on the shoot up podcast bro it's dope it's that's the dope dope thing he's done absolute this, awesomeness this is crazy bro the amount of skill and uh ingenuity yeah, yeah, it takes to to do this, bro. Like he cutting out the the, the tread pattern with a Dremel. I mean, it looked brand new when he finished. I ain't never seen yeah like this before. This is crazy. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's that's awesome. awesome. Kicks world. Yeah, yeah. Follow custom kicks. Yeah. World. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. That that that's the, you know what this is what it's all about. The you know passion drives. Uh, uh, the stuff like this passion drives customs passion drives uh, innovation passion drives the desire to do more f- for for sneakers and that's what it's all about is whatever even not in sneakers if whatever you're passionate about guys go and follow your dreams um because basically you could like Q said early on and it's a great segue to what i'm going to say is if you've got the passion to do it don't let anybody stop you and when you have the passion and then you gain the knowledge you have the ambition to innovate and that innovation will actually drive you to make changes within the environment that you're working in like not even making it effective but really really apply some change to it and this is why i love what you just showed because it's all about passion bro if you you, if you have passion for something go and do it because basically you you like this is why we do the show shoot up podcast because we have passion for what we do and it, it passion can come in any forms like either through innovations either through discussions either through content it's just do what you love and love what you do that's what I say. All the time. All the time, bro, because I want you guys to excel. It's all this cube, but he doesn't always talk about it, though, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Quick fight. 
Talking, talking about talking about innovations, bro. Let's have a look at this new Bad Bunny uh, Adidas Response CL, which is, comes in core black. It's like a triple black with the with the swooshes with with that navy. Um, I I think it's dope. I think it's I think it's another. Well, Bad Bunny's moved on to something different than the forums. Um, I think it's I think it's dope. I think it's a dope sneaker. It's obviously it's, it's an Adidas sneaker, but it's just a little bit of a collaboration with him on it. I think um, it's cool. It's cool. It'll probably, it looks like it'll look cool on feet. Yeah. Um, but I do, I do taste a hint of, uh, of patter. And I also taste a hint of mischief. Oh, you, you're you, talking about the weight, the wave on the actual sneaker. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm tasting them. It's a little, a little bitey. It's a yep. little, t- a little tough in the, in that, in that kind of mischief areas, you know. <laughs> yeah, and by the way, by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw Ali up to Adidas, um, and I'm gonna say to you guys, you know what? I like you guys so much, so I'm gonna give you an innovation. You know the bad bunny, the, that bad bunny symbol. Make some bad bunny slippers with the bad bunny symbol, and um, sell it, sell it. Oh, to yeah, the that's over. It's over. Huh? It's yeah, over. You, you, D- 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 bro, talk about innovation. Uh, d- you know, you know what I just said. You know what don't I just said. No you know, don't say that no more. Don't say that no more. <laughs> we might need to edit that out. We're gonna edit that out. <laughs> yeah, we'll edit that out. You don't, Next point you, strike. You, you... <laughs> no, no, you're not finna, bro. You should not have said that. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just did it. You should have just mocked it up. Yeah. And, and and DM who you need to DM. Yeah, true, true. Well, we do if we do it, we do it together. And guys, uh, if we don't edit it out, which is probably more likely than we're not gonna edit it out, we said it here first, we're gonna probably do it here first, and we're gonna probably um do what we need to do. Um, because you know, you see, that that is get that is game over. I that, that, I don't know why I said it, but that's game over. That's game over. But guys. Next quick strike as we go, because, you know, we want to innovate. We want to be the best we can be for and give the best products we can do for the people out there. Because Yeezy came back this week, bro, and everything came out. Let's just say... <laughs> <laughs> that was Conrad Borye, if you didn't know. And, we- and obviously, he's our mascot. So every time we talk about Kanye, we did the... Conrad Borier will come out to play. Isn't that right, bro? <laughs> Man, this was a this was a calamitous situation. Yeah, Conrad, calamitous Conrad, situation. Come Conrad, he started he started as Calamitous Jones for this release right here. <laughs> um, was it was it quite difficult for you for you guys in the states? I saw some I saw some things. Um, I saw a lot of W's. I saw a lot of complaining. Uh, a lot, a lot of complaining. Twitter, I mean, mm-hmm. it's Twitter. So, <laughs> yeah. but I, I did see a lot of W's. Uh, I did not try for myself for anything. I didn't check personally for anything. I just monitored the situation via all the the eight thousand posts I got over them two days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just, crazy. Just, this Yeezy uh, final Yeezy release took over the sneaker news cycle for like a minute, you know. Yeah, that it went it went absolutely crazy. I'm talking about craziness as in, like, um, let me just put it. Um, every on on that thirty first day, they released pairs of the Onyx. Or, that, to be honest, let's be honest, right? The the carbon Belu- the carbon belugas were, and the Onyx three fifties were quite easy to get. They sat there for quite a while, bro. Um, but even though this eventually hopefully sold out, a lot of people were able to cop that. I think the three eighty came out as well. Um, uh, obviously we had a seven hundred tempera. And then we also had the, the the blue slides, the zebras. I managed to assist um, Blazing Guns uh, for for the Yeezys um, v v two, which was great because I, I I think I was able to get it for his daughter. That's absolutely phenomenal because that that's coming hopefully soon. I can kind of um, send that to him. Um, and yeah, pretty, pretty much all of the sneakers came out. Even the pirate blacks came out, bro. Even the pirate blacks. Um, but on that. This is what happened, bro. This is this is basically potentially looking at what actually happened, because uh, Kanye West earned twenty five million 
from from the actual release. I'm talking like the digit thirty first and the and the first. We're talking about um six thousand eight hundred twenty six thousand eight hundred eight hundred and two pairs were released. Bro. Six hundred yeah, six hundred and eighty two thousand pairs. That, that's ridiculous, bro. How how ironic is it <clears throat> that this Yeezy release takes place the day before and the day of Tiana Taylor's Jordan release. Yeah, that, that's quite that's quite interesting. But the Tiana Taylor's Jordan sneaker did really well, bro. Really well. It like, did. I, I'm I, I'm gonna be honest. I, I I was looking more at the Tiana Taylor's than I was ever looking at the Yeezys. I was I was also, but like I said, the Yeezys they just kept showing up. The, yeah, the Tianas they they did what they were supposed to do. Um, I took I took my ill. Uh, it's Move. okay. Um, because the the resale on, on them ain't crazy crazy like yeah. they like I think it it should be to be honest with you. I, I guess oh, that's okay. a that's a good that's a good bad thing instead it, of a bad. Suffering. It's suffering the lag of um what do you call it the um, Jordan One lag at the moment um because I I do believe like yeah. um me 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 and, me and a couple of people have been talking I think this is the two releases right this moment in time is indicate it's going to indicate what the situation with Jordan Ones are at the moment the UNC yeah, One to be honest. well no to be honest. I don't think the UNC bro is it's already decided with GRs I think it's decided with GRs already you you think the UNCs are going to be easy to get yeah. This is this this is why I said this is these two sneakers I'm going to mention, not the Tiana Taylor. That lucky, green, that lucky green one would have went crazy two years ago. I agree with you now, but the UNC colorway, the UNC colorway is is quite uh, coveted by a lot of people. But let me just break let me just break this down for you. Oh, taxis just restocked. Laney's still still available. This taxis. this uh, black this black smoke gray suede. Yeah, uh, quote wash black. It's not finna go crazy. I know, but l- 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 let me let me just let me just say two things with this, right? That the the Tiana Taylors we know is going to fly, which which is I think that's a phenomenal sneaker. And also on top of that, what I was going to say was the UNC Black Toe and the Palomino one. Let's just be let's reflect to what happened with the UNC ones and the Mocha ones. Now these two sneakers are going to give you indication of how much interest there is in the Jordan one. If the UNC ones don't sell out. Right, oh, I can I can understand that. They'll sell. Hey, they'll, I think I think they'll they'll do taxi. They'll do taxi numbers. I think it, it'll be taxi time with yep. the USDs. I think and they'll they'll be when when you ask me if I think they'll be easy to get. I mean, relative to what we used to at this point. Yeah. And also, then, then when you mentioned the the Palomino ones, the Palomino ones are basically the Mocha ones. Well, in COVID, I know it's COVID and everything like that, but that was the hardest sneaker to get. That was the hardest sneaker to get during COVID. That was, that was the first indication that COVID was having a massive impact on sneakers. That one, that that Mocha one. Well, right? I thought you were going to say the Union and the Tiana was going to dictate what what nah. it looked like. No, 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 no. I think, I'm, I think I'm, those two, well, I think the union, the union may not be such a good gauge because it's. No. it's I think the, I think that union gonna go crazy. I ain't seen too many people talking reckless about it. Yeah, it a, a lot, I, lot, lot of people, lot of people change their mind. A lot of people the change union, their mind. The union one is surprisingly quiet. Yep, but I think but it's, also, it's sneaky. I think it's gonna hit real hard. Yeah, and. It isn't, isn't, but it's not going to move the needle for the Jordan One as a silhouette, as a GR no. silhouette. And this is this is what I'm saying because we're going to discuss this in a bit. But like, basically, what I'm saying is, I'm using two generic GR sneakers because these GR sneakers during COVID was absolutely crazy to get. Like UNC One and the Mocha One. Now this is the, this is the the reality of the situation after COVID. The UNC Black Toe and the Palomino. Like the Palomino is a Mocha variation, even if you don't want to call it a Mocha or a brown variation, it is a Mocha variation. Like those two sneakers, if they don't sell out, if the Mocha One don't, or the Palomino One don't sell out. Yeah, I think it's that's gone. gonna tell. Me. You reckon I it's gone? It's, I think it's gone. 
Uh, the, the real reason is with this this Palomino is showing me taxi signs, bro, because the taxi one was available early, really early on. The Palomino one's coming out in September time, and people are still, are people have gotten in their hands. I mean, it's, yeah, it's going to hit right for fall. I think um, I think it's I feel good about the prospects on the Palomino, not so much on the USC. Surprisingly, now, I'm surprised yeah. myself. To be honest with you. I, the UNC, I think it's gonna move like the taxi move, bro. For real, because we think, you think, about the, think about all the ones from the past, let's say year. Yeah, <sighs> from the heritage to the stealth. All sat, all sat. Lucky, if, 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 if it was in the collaboration, it all sat. The taxi did better. The gorge green, you know, the taxi did better than all of these ones. I think yep. the UNC will be that. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what uh, what that happens with that UNC. It's still sat, but when it restart, it didn't last. Yep. Uh, hey, bro, it's sat, it sat around here in the UK. And I know it's the States in the UK is different, yeah. but it, it is sat around here in the UK. Um, I, I, I can understand that. I can understand UNC might do better. It's a summer sneaker. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to gauge it. This is my gauge for the Jordan 1. <laughs> It's Literally. a sneaker. It's a whatever. It's a whenever. It's a whatever power. sneaker. To have. <laughs> whatever <laughs> way possible. However way possible that sneaker. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That, that, is a is a. That's a whenever, bro. That way, yeah. when, when you go to the gas station, uh, you can go to the mall, or you can go to the club. Where you finna go? What time is it? It's eight in the you morning. Seat time. <laughs> Is the way we go late night. We go in the after party. Is is one in the morning? Put the UNCs on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it'll be good to skew. You'll be good to compare the UNC one with the Obsidian one next to it because basically it's gonna be quite a good comparison to see that. Trash. Put the UNCs on. <laughs> <laughs> Oi! <laughs> you can't say that. You can't say that, bro. You can't say that. <laughs> hey, UNC. I be seeing, it, bro. I see so many beat up UNC phones. Destroyed. To my, I see dudes working in the grocery store in the back room, stockers. Yeah, wearing UNC foes. Ooh, they be, man, they be so beat up nice. that the food almost turn green. Yep, guys, look after your sneakers. And just on, just a quick note on that Adidas Yeezy collaboration. Um, this is not. This is just the beginning. There's gonna be more pairs. This is not. This is not. Um, 1.2 billion worth of stock. This is only um 170 million worth of stock. So, um, realistically speaking, we got a whole load more sneakers. I've already seen a whole load of more forums, whole load of more free fifties, a whole load of more seven hundred has been rumored to come out. I, I I think we're gonna see the wave runners as well one last time. So expect to see more Yeezys coming out, but also expect to see. More of Canrat Borier, our mascot of the day, of the of the, of the rest of the year, that is. But uh, next quick strike. <laughs> um, it is the Ammerman Year 5. Apparently, we have an official date of October time, bro. Yeah. I October kind of figured, time. I kind of figured this is not... All time. This is not the, the everyday release right here. We know um, a money year like to come around the end of the year or the beginning of the year. Yep. For some reason, they leave summer alone. Because, I, you know what? I see I see a little bit of strategy in that. I see um, how they can feel everybody else dropping big in the summer. Yeah. Travis, Travis uh, Khaled, you, maybe. Khaled. Yeah. You know, all the big, all the big collaborators. Um uh, they come hard in the summer. Social status drop in the summer. Yeah. Uh, we ain't seen nothing from them. Well, oh, we did see the, the Mac attack, social status Mac attack. So yeah. we might get that from social status as far as uh, the Whitaker group uh, cooperating during the summer. But <clears throat> no, nah, bro. October. What's what's coming? What else we, we know for now Ooh. around that? Whatever Ooh. it is, the squash. I hope the playoff ace ain't coming. I can't All remember. The playoff ace are, co- playoff ace are coming in August time, but um, I think so. August or September time. But we got Bordeaux. Bordeaux we got Bordeaux fives. Uh, Georgetown yeah, fives. Good on those. The Georgetowns. We're gonna talk about those too. Yeah, yeah. We, we're gonna talk about them in a bit, like in the main topics. But basically, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot coming out. Yeah, the squashing. The squashing. The squashing. 
with everything moving around for me. Yeah. Hopefully, um, I, I'm on. I'm I'm on your side on that. Definitely on your side on that because um, this is this release is hard, bro. It's this uh, this is a Jordan Five Amman Manier, bro. We, we you know we're five guys anyway, bro. Like so, at the end of the day, day, and it's a black metallic too. Yeah. And oh I, man, I, is it swinging? I might need to get the. New book? I tell you, well, well, I think it might be. I'm thinking it might be new buck. Let's just see what happens. It might could might be a premium suede as well. Let's just see what happens with this release. But yo, you know already, you know already. Like um, me and you be going for the in for this, in for this. So I advise anyone that's looking forward to that. St- I'm in your five. I receive your money, guys. Definitely, definitely yeah, save um, your money. You wouldn't. Ooh. <laughs> it's getting ugly, bro. <laughs> it's it's going to be ugly. It's going to be ugly. That's the, that's the situation with Amma Manier, bro. Um, releases like this don't come around every year, and when they when they come around, um, they're special. And this is what this is what collaboration is all about. This is why I think sometimes with over mass collaborations, you get this whole thing with you get collaboration lag, and you only want the special pairs like maybe a Travis Scott, maybe Amma Manier, maybe a Union, and you want to make them special. Don't don't condense condense them and oversaturate, and and all of a sudden you're like fed up of just every collaboration there's a good climate for these to come out too for us yeah this, yeah this is the best climate for us to have this release take place for real bro. um did you did you not did october, you not know october back to school is august september october parents gonna hey it's gonna be the climate the, the way the climate is and the season they're gonna come out in this this Hopefully this will be so, good. So, 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 just, just, just thinking on this because I just really clocked on. When did the Amma New Freeze come out? I can't remember because I, I wasn't in on that release like I should have been. Right. So the Amma New Freeze, I'll check it that out. One, that one went over my head. I'm gonna check this. When did Amma Year Four comes out? Come out in 2021. That was last year. 20, that's last year, 2022. So I I think 2020 2021 was when the Amman Year Freeze came out. We're getting the Amman Year Four, four I remember Year Five this year, right? So um, the, I I think the Amman Year drop uh, it's the start of the introduction to the sneaker of of well, the anniversary. I know the ones was uh, the ones was November twenty one. Yeah. So. so the, it was the ones, the twos. I don't remember the threes were eight. What well, the threes were? Uh, twenty twenty, right? Or twenty nineteen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it twenty twenty? Oh. I'm, I'm just, look, I'm just looking at them in your date now. Um, and it looks like the sneaker released in um. It's I know the ones, the ones were around Thanksgiving, I think. Yeah, so 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 yeah, so the sneaker released in 2021, right? So the Amma Mania 3 released in 2021. The Amma Mania 4 released in 2022. The Amma Mania 5 is releasing in 2023. Do you see the, see the indication? Like every, like the Amma Mania 3 released two years before the anniversary of the 3. The Amma Mania 4 released three, two years before the anniversary of the 4. The Amma Mania 5 is releasing two years before the anniversary of the 5. So that's, Amma Manier's sneaker is the indication to the start of the build up to the releases for the anniversaries. We just had a year of fives a few years ago. Yeah, but we're talking about 2025. Yeah, no. Yeah, 2020 was the year of five. But we're talking about the 35th anniversary, which is 2020, 2025. So basically, it's building up, it's building up to that anniversary. I feel you. I don't think that got much to do with it. I think I think it's just I think it's James Whitner picking what he want to pick when he want to pick it. I, but ironically, he's picking two. What he picked a two, a one, a three, a, 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 a three, a one, a two, a four, and now a five. Well, you got to listen to him talk about the sneakers. Yeah, that's what it is. That's that's the thing with me when I watched him on the uh, Complex Sneaker Podcast. And I watched um, a couple of the lives. I still ain't been able to make it to the event because of my work schedule. I really yeah. got to get to one of these events to be able to um, possibly meet the man himself, you know, because he seemed like a really cool dude, down to earth dude. Watching, I watched the live, the YouTube live, or one of the events, and he was interact interactive. I mean, the way he talked, bro, about. 
just cr- creativity and yeah. business. I've I've I haven't heard anybody talk about the way he does. So it, he just he just he's so left field, bro. In a right in a good way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fives, bro. We called it. I'm just, I'm so proud of us. We called it. <laughs> Yo, bro, you, you know what it is, bro. We 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 so we so enthusiastic. We're so enthusiastic on 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 the narrative, on the strategies that we kind of want to see what everybody else wants to see, and we kind of intuitively like kind of. It's not like we listen to people. It's just the intuition and and the gut feeling, and then that comes out, and and we say it, and then when we say it, it it's not like we've been saying before. We even said it on the podcast. We, we we me and you were talking about it for quite a while, right? Um, and we just said it on the podcast because we, were, well, you know what, it's the right time to say it. And all of a sudden, that week, it was announced. Like that Thursday, uh, we recorded on Sunday, we showed showed a podcast on Tuesday, and on that Thursday, I remember in year fives. That was just meant I'm to be. Super, I'm super hyped for these, bro. I need these. <laughs> this the black ones, and we ain't even seen the other pair, but these black ones, bro. I got to man. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. Moving on to the next quick strike. I've got two subjects left. <laughs> shoe dog, you shoe dog. Calm down, bro. Calm down. Shoe dog. <laughs> shoe, shoe dog mentality. Uh, next quick strike is something I want to talk about in terms of a different brand. Obviously, let's have a look at these Timberlands because this is basically what looks like um, what Timberland might be doing going forwards. They're, they're reducing the, the whole soul, uh, midsole unit of that to be more of a a tread I don't know bro uh, this um, caption is priceless <laughs> what, I, I, oh, no, no, no. I can't put my finger on it but these butters look different <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro hey. this is super obvious what, what happened to the to the outsole on these teams man? I don't know bro uh, basically um, I like the comment on the form they, they really got lowercase Tims out here <laughs> That's what these are. These are lowercase too. <laughs> but but I I don't know why they have made it for women, bro. You reckon? The hand. Look at the hand. That's a woman. Yeah, yeah. I'm I, so that you you you're making a shoe lighter than it's supposed to be for the females that want it to be. The Timberlands. <laughs> That's it. <a> th- <laughs> <laughs> the Timberlands, man. Listen, bro. Just right yourself, man. It, it, it's right there. You know what I'm saying? And this, these might be food. Yeah. Did Tim- you ever? Did you ever think think they might be food? Well, food, well, food foods. Yeah, they could be legit, but they could be food also. I, these I, ain't you know that, what? Bro. Like, come on. These. I, oh I, if they bro. if they legit, these for the women. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I did not see now one of y'all. Grown men, and I'm not a Timberland dude. Okay, yeah, I respect the Timberland culture. I been not see, I been not see y'all wearing these, bro. <laughs> these these Timberlands are for the Timberlinas. <laughs> <laughs> these vegan tails, bro. <laughs> all right cool yeah, yes streamlined skinny anorexic tims um but yes uh, this is what it is <laughs> skinny tims <laughs> skinny tims but yes i i find it fascinating if this is if this is legit right i it just shows you how much sneakers has evolved i i do believe this might be fufu uh i'm i'm, I'm kind of leaning towards that way the more when you said it i didn't clock i didn't really think about it but you're now Bought about it and think this might be a fufu pair. Um, it does look, look, bro. The background does look like it's a proper retail shop, so maybe these are legit. Um, but if this is the case, this is show. Hmm? It might be the flea market. It could be flea market, so that 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 is oh, that could be the case as well. But if this is a legit Timberland, I'm talking about. Um, I'm not even calling it a Timberland. Anymore. I'm going to call them th- like that. The guy said Thimberlands, Thimberlands. Like yeah. if these are proper Thimberlands. Then it shows you how far the sneaker market has come because basically the Timberlands are evolving to become more, hopefully more sneaker based than actual boots. No, because no, no, boot no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> well, don't do that. You, Timberland, how would you call it? 
Timberland been making sneakers for years, bro. I know that. I know they have. But this is this is taking a a classic silhouette like the six inch Timberland boot and and turning it into a a six inch Tim uh, sneak Singerland Singerland or Sneakerland. I don't know, bro. bro how, how we we got we got the Jordan MVP on sale right now. What yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> this, bro, that's what they do. That's yeah, why. Yeah. That's why I say if this is legit, you know what I'm saying. But if it's not, even if it is legit, it's still jokes. Yeah, and you know what? I, I would love to see. I would love to see this in the real life public because I I, 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 would, I would have love. no problem with some some chick that wear a uh, size women's eight. Yep. With these on, with the right fit. But if I see a grown man walking around with these low fat Tims on, <laughs> low fat, bro. Low fat or no fat? Two <laughs> percent. <laughs> No fat or low fat? That 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 is the question of the day. Uh, what would you what do you prefer? No fat or low fat? Bro, these two percent tims, bro. Come on, man. If you if your girl if your girl wanted a pair of these, you'll get them for. Her. And when she put them on, they'll be dope. I bet you. I, I, I'm gonna but, tell, I'm gonna say God. one thing. But, uh, yeah. My God. I'm gonna say one thing about this, right? Just, just to, just to round it off and close the subject. Mm-hmm. If somebody, if somebody, if I saw somebody wore, wearing these um, Timberlands, right? I would think their soul dropped off. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, <laughs> am I not lying, bro? Because it looks like it's something missing, bro. Yeah, it's two layers missing, bro. <laughs> Right, you know cool. what proper teams look like, bro. It's too late, bro. I loved it. You know what, bro? You know my story already. I, I was in the, in the early 2000s, like 2000, 1998, 1999, 2000. I was picking up Timberlands because I, that, I love Timberlands. Yeah. When I when I look at this, it just looks like no, some, bro. It just, the soul dropped off. Yeah, because Timberlands don't have a midsole. And and you know what? Ironically, that that's quite a metaphor because it does feel like the soul of the sneaker is dropped out. Right. So Tim's have this is an outsole. That little that little bit of good. That's a sneaker outsole. Sneakers have yeah. midsoles in between yeah. the uppers and the outsole. That's why this is so crazy. Which is why <sighs> Tim's have a triple outsole because they built to last. Bro, they need to put it. Somebody needs to go and grab that, take the soul off, and put a Jordan One soul on it. Let's quit that, man. <laughs> this one's on you, bro. This one's on oh, that, that, that. You keep, you keep you... saying stuff that you're not supposed to say. <laughs> you ain't supposed to say that. Like, what? <laughs> Yo, yo, I told you, Nike, Adidas, come to us. We got innovations. You want innovations? We got innovations. This is just a tip of the iceberg. <laughs> and, and it's not even a Jordan 1. Yeah. It's, a, it's an Air Force 1. Yeah. The, the Nike Timberland, you throw a, 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 a whole gum, outsole, midsole. The, tim- the Timber Force. <laughs> Tim Force the Timber one. Force. Tim, hey, Force, Tim one. Force One. Tim Force One. There you go. I told you. I told you. I That's told you, bro. That's the one. Tim Force one. That's the one, bro. But yeah, Air bro. Force they... One, missile, also, Timberland Upper, sold out. It's over. Yeah, every, bro. And every single pair is going to be sold in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it, bro. New York Love dude, me. New York dude, listen, I love my New York people. Shout out 99, shout out Darwin. Listen, man. Tim's and Air Force Ones. Yeah. Those two sneakers, well, one sneaker and one boot, those two shoes are synonymous with New York. If you put yeah. Air Force One, I'm talking about legit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about, bro. Gum. Like the um, the mocha. 
the wheat mocha Air Force One that yeah. I wanted so bad that sold out that I ain't never seen nobody with on their feet. If you take the outsole from that sneaker and put it on a Timberland, I might buy it. I don't know. It depends on how it looks. But we see that's two that's two mock up three mock up uh, ideas. We done uh, gave away already. We got to start. By the way, we'll by the up. way, coming to Instagram this week, I will do the mock up and tag UQ. I might tag Nike. Wait, wait, I might wait, tag wait, Timberland. Don't, 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 hey. <laughs> Come and talk to us. <laughs> Let's have it's a conversation. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe 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 we'll be still in the meeting. <laughs> you know. <laughs> They sleep. They sleep. We ain't big enough yet. We ain't big enough yet. They sleep too. Well, we, bro, see, we're, man. We're, cre- we're creeping up. Don't worry, bro. When 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 they wake up, they realize how good we are. So, you know, they'll come crawling. Don't worry, bro. Don't worry about that. But uh, last but not least, Jordan Kwai, 54, you was going to show me something today because basically I knew the Jordan 1 low, Kwai 54 is out. And that's a dope rendition. We're talking about oh, dope, dope rendition. That's the one. About? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, nah, this ain't it right here. Don't you like it? Um, yes and no. <coughs> what, what like, you, okay, cool. I like the materials. Yeah. I like the, the uh, colorway. I like the color blocking. I like the material blocking because what's green is suede and what's red is leather, right? So on yeah. the left shoe, the toe is green suede and the heel is red leather and it's the opposite on the right shoe. Yeah, on yeah. the right shoe, we have the Jumpman. On the, the left shoe, we have the K54 logo and it's inverse on the back where the, the one shoe has Jordan on the front, K54 on the back, the other <laughs> is the opposite, the insoles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but it's a Jordan 1 low retro. It's not an OG. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. That's the one thing I didn't didn't clock because basically I I no OG's got the wings at the top top panel and the the red right. got the one yeah. Uh, it's, it's damn. I mean the materials look good. Uh, bro, I would say as, as long as the materials look good and as long as it, it kind of is a better version of the the retro um not 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 the OG but just the retro GR yeah, yeah, the retro uh, low. The hang, the hang tag is that's dope, bro. It's fantastic. 20 year Look. anniversary of K54. Shout out to K54 anyway. Yeah, round of applause. Round tips. of applause for K54. They, they the always do lace tips, red, black, and green. Red, black, and green is the uh, theme colors for this year. The uh, tournament, K54 tournament. White laces come with these, these lows too. But I don't want to talk about these lows. I want to talk about. Oh, ho, ho, bro. The Jordan bro. 2. Low K54. That looks fantastic, bro. We talked about them. I respect them ones. I'm they're not for me because I prefer the OG cut joining one low versus the red. I can I can understand that. Bruh, these twos, Jordan two low and in Chicago color blocking with the African theme, red, black, and green, yellow, white, ooh, leather, ooh. white tumble. Ooh. White tumble. Ooh, that's nooey, bro. That's nooey. Red and green on the back tab. Black midsole. White. I'm sorry. Sail on the front outsole, yellow on the back. K54 tag, that K54 tag placement similar to the Union 2 placement. Yeah, 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 I see that. I see that. Similar to um, PSG placement on the <clears> phones. <throat> yeah, I, I'm going to I'm gonna say one thing, right? They're <clears throat> all learning from each other. I love it. I love the fact that they're all Thank learning from each other, evolving together. In the insole, bro. Yeah, that's dope. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. You know what? They're going in hard with these twos. Remember we saw the wings two last week, mm-hmm. and it, and then we now now we're talking about the Kawhi fifty four two, bro. They oh, are going in. Yo, only bro, one wings no more. That that back tab, 
correct me if I'm wrong. The 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 forget the white. You got the red upper, the green mid, like upper to mid, Talk about black, it. and then the yellow, right? Talk about it. Yeah. Are you gonna pull it out? Are you are you gonna pull it out, or do you want me to pull it? Uh, do you want me to tell you what it what it looks like? Tell them, bro. The animal Jordan Three. Mm-hmm. Remember the remember the crazy colors on that. That's mm-hmm. another sneaker. That's another sneaker I kind of look back at and I think that's a dope color. I, I don't mind if I missed it, but that's a dope colorway. That was a dope colorway. It just reminds me of that color, bro. It just everything about that back back of that Jordan 2 Quiet 54. Um, it just reminds me of that sneaker. Look like two spaceships ready to take off. <laughs> get get airborne with the Jordans. Sheesh, bro. And here, and here go that hang tag again. Yeah. They ain't using the game. I ain't gonna talk about these no more. We didn't talk. We didn't show it. Um, it's over. Mm, 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 no mm. That, 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 that was a quick. That was a that was a lengthy quick strike. That was a good quick strike. We had a good talk discussion. about this no more unless I'm showing it on the podcast. Yeah, bro. I do like both of them. I do like the both both the K fifty fours and the ones and the and the twos. They they don't they are very dope sneakers. Like bro, um. But let me before we go into the main subjects, let me just um. Remember we discussed last week. You said to me, "What's next for the airship? What is next for the airship?" And I said, "We we come." You whoa, said, "The mama." Pa- whoa, whoa. What God? You said last week on the podcast, "What is the next move for the airship?" What, what do what you finna do, man? Just nah. do what you finna do. Don't set me up, bro. Just do it. No, no, no. no but because you're me up. You, no, no. You said you said last week. I said it wouldn't it be dope if Travis Scott jumped on the airship, and then you said the mum and pop shops should might do it. You might get union or social status and that stuff. Apparently, awake. Is another boutique that are doing the airship. Yeah. So this already started. We knew it started with the J Balvin when the J Balvin got PE of the bike air, but we got the every game, which is a similar colorway but different material blocking. And now it looks like we are going to get a collaboration with a, a boutique shop called Awake, mm-hmm. and they're doing it, they're doing the airship, and it looks like the the, the sneakers generic. If I, I'll find it and I'll put it up quickly. The sneakers generic, but basically it does look like it's got like different color switches on each sneaker and it, it looks it looks dope as well it definitely looks dope um uh i i there's there's it was hung on the in the in store so there's no official pictures except for the pictures that we see um in in the store in terms of somebody snapped it but yeah it does look dope bro and um i've, I've just pulled them up now that's the ones bro that's the ones if that comes out that actually looks dope bro i'm not even joking it started we, you were right, and I was right. I'm, I'm just, I'm just waiting for Travis Scott to just to rocket airship. Now, it's gonna happen. It's going to happen. Wait a minute. What? This, they put the wings logo on it. Yeah. <laughs> What's your feeling, bro? Is that I'm trying to gauge? It's snake skin, and it's got look, look, look. Yeah, the sk- snake skin red, snake skin blue, bro. The weight did a dunk, right? Yep. Was it a dunk? Could have been. Hold on. Yo, this is crazy. They they stitched their name. On the the toe, on the on the on the side t- toe, on the lateral side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can see you can see um, you can see a wake coming from the actual uh, toe panel. For you have got a big A coming into the toe. Um, so they got a wake. You got the jump man. You got the wings logo. They've got something on the back of it. It's, it's got crocodile. I think the right pair has got crocodile red uh, up from the top tab to the bottom he- it back might of the be heel. Two it might be two different pairs. It could be. It could be two. It like could every be game mismatch, got- or it could be two different pairs. Yeah, but Awake and Awake New York and Jordan brand are kicking off the new collaboration in 2023 with the collab with the collab- collective project. It is a colorful take on the airship revealed to as a raunchous and rev- revelous 
opening party for Awake's New York brick and mortar flagship. So it is going to be exclusive. But this pair, bro, we was right last week, bro. We were so right. We hit the nail on the head when we, you said to pop mom and pop shops. Now I'm just waiting for that who, who that person that's going to take that collaboration, Khalid or a, or a Balvin or a Travis. I'm just waiting for that now because that we are starting to rock and roll. This this snowball is no longer a snowball; it's a snow football. is growing and growing its own legs. This 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 news of uh, awake and shout out to them. Um, it's just so many so many boutiques now. Yeah, <laughs> but um, I know Awake. I've seen a lot of dope stuff from them, a lot of dope stuff, so but it, different yeah. stuff, you know, bro. I think it's just a boutique. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Seeing this right here kind of make me want want the airship to stay local. Boutique. I want it to stay local. I want so you want you, to do one. I want concepts yep. to do one. Union to do one. I want all the boutiques to do one. I, don't know hit, I want the big stars to to, to go airship. Just message. So. Okay, so you want the boutique run before you get the big collaboration run. Yeah, I, I think that might be the strategy, bro, because you might be spot on there. Did this this one you called spot on? This one. I, we were discussing it, and we know because Nigel Sylvester did a collaboration, or a PE, not collaboration. We know because every game is not a Nigel Sylvester collaboration. It is just a, a take off the bike here. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Um, but yeah, for go, me, go bike. Nigel Shad and Nigel Sylvester, man. Yeah, every so time. dope. So every I want to I want to say his name every show. I really do. Nigel Sylvester. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who could do that, bro? <laughs> Nigel we, Sylvester, we, we, we... Nigel Sylvester, Nigel Sylvester, <laughs> Nigel Sylvester. Okay. Go ahead, bro. Okay, cool. We said it enough now. No, but yeah, that, that that kind of that I didn't even set you up there. I just basically told you what you said last week was absolutely spot on. Hundred percent spot on. You can't you can't make this up at all. Um and like this is the this is not the first time we've been right, nor it's the second time that we've been right. Nor is it the third time that we've been right because we talk off offline off the podcast and constantly through predictions, bro, bro, off prediction after prediction after prediction, we bro. talk about come true, bro. Get what? What's that? We be right. <laughs> you know already. Because <laughs> right. kind of shoot dog we are, bro. <laughs> We sniff it. We sniff out the hints. We sniff out the strategies, and we sniff out the actual execution, and we predict it correct because we find the big stake in the rubble. Listen, bro. <laughs> TMI, right? <clears throat> I be forgetting stuff, and I know we didn't. I, I've made some retractable statements on the podcast. That's what podcasting is, you know. There's opinions, yeah. and you know, yep. whatever. Like we we not scripted. We we know what we're gonna talk about. Most of the time, sometimes we surprise each other and all that. Great. Yeah. Love it. But when you write, you write. Yeah, when you write, you write. And we were talking about unscripted stuff like um, Calamitous Jones and Conrad Borier. All of that stuff is unscripted. Like, guys, well, we I'm not even joking. Tripping, man. We should be tripping. Yeah. Okay. I'm not... I- I'm not. I'm not word of a lie. Last week's episode was probably one of the best episodes me and Q's done. We talked about it after the podcast. We were sitting there an hour after. It was like we're like, what? Hey, what? What did? What just happened, bro? What just happened? And obviously, we we got wrapped up in the enthusiasm, and we created the characters we created for Conrad Borier and Calamitous Jones. But uh, sometimes it just works out the way it works out, bro. And sometimes when you're right, you're right. Hey, Amen. Okay. <laughs> you love that bro you love that guys if you listen to the podcast go and look at the visuals um and you will see what we're talking about in terms in terms of the conrad borier uh situation but yeah it's, it's fun we we, we just had fun uh, we might get sued one day but who knows we, 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 when we venture to that we venture to that <laughs> main subject time bro what, what made you laugh bro oh man 
Because, you, know, you know what? I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, bro. I might get a cease and desist from Kanye West. <laughs> Oh my god! All right, main subject time, bro. I want to yeah, talk yeah. about um, I want to talk about two things at the moment, and this this is something I've actually witnessed firsthand. But also, it's kind of like something that's been happening, and I've noticed it myself as well. And one of the things is this whole situation with the woven wave, and um. Is this the start of the woven wave? Because this is tied back in into another into another subject we, we're gonna have a look at. Because obviously there, there's a reimagined wave. Obviously we've on the the 85 cut wave. We obviously we're on the normal wave of just releases for sneakers in terms of Jordan one, Jordan three, Jordan four, and all that stuff, right? Um, but like, are we now getting into the woven wave where it looks like we're gonna get more foot skates? We're gonna get more sneakers that inf- infuse that woven technique. And the the prime example I think about in terms of the the woven wave is the Jordan Seven Greater Chinas with that woven um, woven motif on the medial side. So that's a dope dope sneaker. So are we are we now going to expect a, a way more ranges of woven sneakers in the future coming through from the, the, the brands? I'm with it, bro. You with, with it? Yeah. You love it? Yeah. I'm I'm with it, bro. Um, give me a second. All right, cool. Q's gonna pull out a sneaker for us because obviously he's is enthusiastic to show you guys um something in his in his collection. But yeah, it looks it does look like um yeah, you, I think this is a you are you either gonna love it or hate it kind of situation because I don't think a lot I think if you like the woven thing, and do you know what? The union one to me now is a sneaker that I think a lot of people have changed their minds out a lot, bro, for that sneaker. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 bro. You're gonna pull out the Jordan Seven Greater China, yeah. Yeah, I be I, I look at them periodically. That and... that that is a beautiful sneaker, bro. That is a uh, when you put that on feet, people are like, "What the hell is that, bro?" This this is one of. Just one of them unique ones. Yeah. And when we talk about unique sneakers, that, that's what we talk about. Unique, uniqueness on the sneakers, um, the, the colorations on the actual medial side with that woven pattern in. That woven pattern looks like a basket of, you know, the, one of those um old baskets wicker. that you get, wicker baskets, yeah, on the side of it. And the motifs drawn on it, the the, the Chinese motifs are absolutely dope on that. Absolutely. And the fact is what you can't see, probably can't make out on the screen is as well, is the dragon, the, the translucent dragon. There's two dragon heads on that for front and back. You got one dragon head on the back, one dragon in the front of the toe. Um, the action number nine on the back is from uh, Michael Jordan's Olympic um, uh, number. Um, the the lever on its top, you can see the quality in that sneaker. The the cardinal, the the almost like the red and the gold on that is just so iconic, bro. Iconic on that sneaker. That Jordan Seven Greater China is probably one of the best sneakers set Jordan Sevens to release in a while, bro. As well, uh, apart from the OGs, gold tip lace laces, bro. Gold tip laces. Yeah, man. This this one, I mean, it's. Yeah. There's something about that Jordan Yo. 7 Great China. Glow in the dark out. So, bro. Bro, that sneaker's hard. I, I always forget how hard that sneaker is. I told you. I told you. We were talking. Yeah. And I told you I got some glow sticks in my collection, bro. <laughs> yeah, That's you did mention that. You, you did mention that for sure. But yeah, the Jordan it's, 7 Great China. This Greater China 7, bro. The glow on it is immaculate. So, so, I, I, so I yeah, we just we just went. I just went way left because we both love this nigga. But yeah, man, it, I'm with it. Yeah, I'm with it. Um, I. I I think it's going to be the way they execute it. I I what silhouettes they execute it with, whether they put it on and any other silhouettes is going to be quite interesting. But Union have start have has made people think about the woven wave a bit more. I think in terms of what it represents oh. and what it how it comes through and, and it kind of like the fact that she connected to his wife as well. What's the What's the name of the? Do you remember the name of the company? Nah, no, I don't. I don't. It's to be honest, wife's company. I, um, I don't because the 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 collab is with it's a the triple company. collab yeah. yeah it's a triple collab yeah yeah, yeah. so it's union Jordan union Union and 
um, his wife's company. I cannot remember the name of it. I need to look it up right now because yeah. I don't want to. But in terms of this, I, I, I do agree with you. I'm gonna see. I'm fascinated to see where it goes. I'm fascinated to see um, how much of this is going to come out into the limelight. How much of it's going to be on different silhouettes? How much is going to have a reflect a reflection on different kind of um, sneakers that come back into the wide or wider audience? Foot sketch going to come back over. The air woven might come back as well. So there's a lot of other sneakers out there with the woven weave on it. And I, I'm with you, bro. I want to see what they do with it and. To be honest, it's 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 a quite a cool, cool little thing for for the for the brand to have, like Nike and Jordan brand. Yeah, man. Uh, it, I think I don't know if if the the brand um, the owner of Union's wife's brand should collab all the time independently, but definitely. <laughs> Because it's his wife's brand, this yeah. needs to be several women's releases of iconic silhouettes with that stitching incorporated. It's gonna go crazy, bro. I like it. Yeah, I like yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. Hopefully, because I think that's that's something that um, the female sneaker is. Because we see we see them and we hear them. Yeah. Um Some of the brands are well, making moves. We just sell Nike. You know, Jordan uh, get a new president, yeah. female black first black female president. So it's a lot of things happening in the sneaker world involving uh, the progression of women. Mm-hmm. And that just be another good. We see random uh, Melody Bassani, Nina Chanel. Um, what's the the the, the beauty supply company? Um, oh yeah, no, I don't know you. You, 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 you Billy Eilish, you do a lot of stuff as well. Billy Eilish, like yeah, there's yeah, yeah. so many, you know, new things from women popping up. It's they great. It's great. Collaborations of. Did, did you? Did they're you doing just special? Say... They doing special stuff too. It's not like this ain't run of the mill stuff. I mean, Billy Eilish don't her stuff didn't necessarily appeal to everybody, and that's okay. Yeah. She went different on purpose. But what they doing is working. All of them, you know. What I'm yep. I mean, Serena Williams. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. need, Ser- I need Serena to do some J's, man. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I, I was gonna say one. Jays. I was gonna say one thing about this. You just mentioned it was a female. Of is what we want to see more female collaborations on these woven sneakers. Now, are we are we saying that this Jordan One Union might be a women's exclusive? It could be. That's because good, basically... That's a good one. It could be, bro. And th- that changes the complexity of the sneaker then totally. No, it don't. For, 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 the, bigger, for the bigger sizes, yeah. No, it don't. Extended size, it's a collab. It's extended size automatically. But it doesn't, doesn't guarantee... It doesn't, what, doesn't collab, guarantee. what collab wasn't extended sizes? What women's yeah, what, collab wasn't extended sizes? But, but it doesn't guarantee you're going to get it, bro, unfortunately. It, 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 it don't. <laughs> it's going to be hard to get anyway, bro. Yeah, yeah, I already know that. I want this shoe really, really bad. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get it retail, obviously. But if I don't get it, I'm not going. I'm past that stage in my sneaker journey, bro. What's that? Because it took me a, a few years to get the I'm on my end of three. You know what I'm saying? And that's like my number one. That's. <sighs> Besides my black metallics, because that's my personal favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on my year three is my one in my collection. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 can, I can totally understand what you're saying with that. And obviously, if you got it earlier, it would have been cheaper. And that's the that, that's the yeah. reality of it. So, so no, I, I, I get what you mean. Now, now, if you miss on the sneaker and if you really want it, I think you need to pounce on it before it gets uh, increased, low well, value increases on the sneaker. Yeah, but this, this culture that we're in right now, the, the way it's going is just so unpredictable, bro. It's it's a, it's that which makes it more um, shocking to me sometimes when we are spot on, yeah, like spot on, like not not a little bit right or kind of right, because we 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 be a little bit right, kind of right most of the time, but when yeah. we spot on that that five percent, ten percent of the times 
Well, yeah. we spot on because it is five or ten percent. That's pretty good to be one hundred. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But five the, or ten percent to hit the bullseye. I'll take that at this point. Is it, I have two things could happen with this union one. Either it sits like the Cortezes, mm, and, yeah. and or like I have two things. Two things. It I sits hope like so. the Cortez. It sits like Cortez is, or it's, or or it does, or, or it does a union too, where it actually sells out, but the it's resale isn't high. high. Yeah, we'll sell out. That's that's more likely what's going to happen. Or people love it so much that it's going to just vanish. And if and if it does become a women's exclusive for our size, it's going to vanish quite quickly. Um, so from from that perspective, I think I'm leaning more towards, I'm leaning more towards this union one being a women's exclusive. Um, because of, because of the collaboration with with the union owner and obviously his wife, um, wife's company. So it um, basically just means that in, for me, it might just turn out to be a women's exclusive. Um, and if it does become a women's exclusive, it's going to be more harder. But if it doesn't become a women's exclusive, it might be a bit more easier. To, it might be more like the Jordan 2 union. So it's good to kind of gauge what the next couple of announcements are for this sneaker. But this is a dope. I agree. This is a dope, dope sneaker. It's a very dope sneaker. And I you, I do agree that the woven wave is rel- is rel- for the situation it is now at the moment because I think it's it's good. It's a good thing to happen. Yeah, and the them waffles are hard. Um, yeah. What, I, I don't know what that top right silhouette is. It's look, it look dope. It's, it, no, that, that's the footscape, bro. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. that's the footscape. Is it, is it, the bottom left um, silhouette, not so much. Obviously, yeah. the union, that's the, that's the main thing that Union <laughs> One Footscape is. I need it. Union One, um, I'm on my year five. K54, too low. A, a quick one, just a quick one. If you, we're talking about triple collaborations. We've seen triple, triple collaborations recently, quite a lot. What, what triple collaborations would you want to see? But like you personally, what triple collaborations would you want to see? I want to see city collaborations on retros, mm-hmm. on retro Jordans. Give an example. Um, that's this is this is this is an easy answer for me. Yeah. I want to see sports franchise, more sports franchise collaborations with the big brands. Okay. On on um on an artist design. Oh, so you're talking about maybe like a Balvin UNC college no, 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 collaboration? No, no. I want to see, and this me right here. This all the way me right here. If y'all, if this your first time watching or hearing the podcast, I'm f- <laughs> open to give you 808 kicks right here. <laughs> I want, I want a little baby Atlanta Hawks Jordan 11. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the only sneaker that hasn't got a collaboration on it, bro, Just Jordan 11. A ridiculous and see, I think they do that on purpose. I think they they keep the eleven for themselves yeah. because it's one of um it's one of Mike's personal favorites. It's his yeah. one is, is it his number two or number three? Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's in his top three. So I think they hold that. I th- that might be a clause for him. Like, nah, ain't no yeah, nobody's nobody in the collaboration. The only me. Only and, me. I'm doing and, that collaboration. <laughs> and it's only two a year. One for men, one for women. Yeah. Uh, but they, that changed recently as well because they, for prior to that, it was only one a year. Now they've actually done the two two a year. Right, right, right. But it's, um, I think that's all on him. So, yeah, I want I just, I want to see something stupid like that. I don't think it'll happen. As you mentioned, the Jordan 11, the news got announced this week that the Jordan 11 DMP has got leather upper rather than mesh what 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 else are we got to talk about <laughs> no no response from kiki was like you know what allow this i'm 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 done with this like wait 
Next week's strike. Oh, not not screw that. Nate's main subject is relatively similar to what we discussed about in terms of the actual um, what do you call it? The um, the woven wave. We're do now talking about this, the craft wave. Cause let's be honest, bro. This jewel is you, okay. You've seen the craft five, haven't you, bro? Mm-hmm. Have you seen? Have you seen the craft? This Georgetown five. If this. If this is the official if these are the official pictures if this is what we're going to get and I, this, I'm just basically saying it from a perspective of this might not be the sneaker we get if this is the sneaker we get bro this is the Jordan 5 craft Georgetown if this is what we're getting I'm not rolling did you see do you see the back back material for this and the heel and the upper to the actual ankle that material is craft five the toe box on this is shiny and crackly that material is from the craft five and in, in actual fact the material on the mid looks like it's the craft five in actual fact you know what i changed my mind this is a this is a custom on the craft five i'm adamant i'm adamant and where's the orange though? I don't think it's a custom. I think it's a mock up. Um, Using the Craft 5, bro. Possibly. Material blocking you know this is exactly the same as a Craft 5. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say I think it's a mock up. It looks, it looks pretty real. But I, I, bro, you can, I can grab a real picture and mock it up and it looks real. I've done that before. If this is where we're getting, I'm not rolling. It, I, bro, I, the more I think about it, the more I'm actually thinking this might be just a mock-up of the Craft Fives into the Georgetowns because I, I was expecting something totally different. But if this comes out like this, then this is definitely a Craft Scroll Five. Down. Jo- jo- hmm? Scroll down. Look at that. Look at the look at the shot. That that shininess. I can pull out my Craft Fives right this moment in time and show that you exactly good, the same thing. Hey, that look good. It might be a craft. I, don't, I mean, ain't ain't nothing. Um, Ain't no extra features on the silhouette on a craft five nope. like it is on the craft four with the little no, patch. No, no. So, exactly. Um, I mean, if, if it's if it's a craft, okay, it cool. It look it's cool, but it's not for me, bro. I'm not doing the white, um, the white mid. So I'm not doing. Yeah, that. I, I wish it was. I wish I wish it was gray. The that would have been dope. No, I wanted the all blue, all with blue the gray, with the gray shark teeth. I'm, yeah, yeah, I want it. And this is the classic case that we all mentioned, mock-ups being better yeah. than the sneakers we might get. And yeah, this is the classic one. case. I yeah, but this. we still don't know, though. Yeah, that's 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 the mystery. It looks like we're definitely getting a Georgetown this year, but that's the mystery of what, what it's going to look like. And I refrain from, I basically refrain from anybody kind of taking this as proof that this is what the sneaker's going to look like. Obviously, there's always going to be people out there trying to be the first people to showcase the first look of a sneaker. This might not be the sneaker that we get. So refrain from making up your decision until you see official pictures from the brand. But if it does look like this, it's definitely going to be a craft five. But on top, on top of that, bro. You know, like a blue Oreo. Yeah, it does look like a blue Oreo, bro. I'm not even joking. Oh, but next up, no, 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 this, this, is yeah, 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 better. yeah, 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 bro. This is the olive this Jordan Four um, Croft. Yeah, Croft Four uh, olive leather, black dope. leather wings. Dope black uh, tongue tag. I do wish there was more black on the mid. So yeah, but dope, but bro. I dope, believe bro. this. Uh, I think this is the olive that. We've been rumored to, to come get out for the yeah, long was... people throwing around the, the undefeated the Travis you know, as well. And yeah, Travis too. Travis been attached yeah. to another olive. It's not that rarely is it that I, um, I most question. of the time collab information is more solid. Yeah, yeah. Would you agree with that? I, I agree with that. We get we get more collab information, which collaboration information, which is more solid to the cause of ways. Well, we all, become... we always get the attachment early. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and we get we get like with the Amo Mayer. Yeah, we get we get more officialness. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. As as official as it can get, let's just be honest. Yeah. Now yeah, this is cool question, though. I, I, I like these. I, th- I, yeah, I, I like. I want more black. I want black 
I wanted um what's the mix so the all black with the little bit of white. Yeah. Almost like the bread and so Yeah, but I I, I, got, I do for that. But like I've got the craft fours and I can tell you that's a banger of a sneaker. The craft fours is so dope. And I'm looking forward to these olive five uh, olive fours, I mean craft fours. Um but yeah, these are crazy. These these um the camo yeah. vibes, you know, yeah. camo are you, are you gonna One change the laces? Is brown. Are you gonna nah, change the laces? Probably well, black. Hopefully they come really? with black laces. I wouldn't do nothing uh, but black in those, if not the green. Okay. I I, I was I don't, thinking I don't get that, so, so, that's that? that's the only thing that threw me off about it. The color of the laces and the color of the outsole are the same. And the hmm. out, color of the outsole is not in the uppers. Did, did you do you know it's the back of this looks a bit translucent? The back back outsole looks translucent. It's not. It's not. Yeah, I examined. I examined yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite a bit. But when I first but, saw the um, pictures, a lot of people are going to grab the sneaker up and put orange laces and turn that. But jump man on the back orange uh, as well. You know that. Give the threes, man. Yeah, leave it to the freeze. To camel freeze the dope. Yeah, but the, that that's that craft wave is happening. Obviously, we we saw the reverberations of Ni- Niger come out as well. That's another craft sneaker. Uh, the craft fours come out. The craft fives come out. It looks like we're gonna get another Georgetown craft five. If if that which is the truth, we look like we're gonna get another J- J- uh, Jordan four olive craft. Um, so it looks like we were, we're on this roller coaster of the craft wave. I'm down for this because I love the fact that they keep changing the material blockings and making it a bit different and a bit more unique and like taking out the mission, especially with the Jordan 4, taking out the meshing and replacing it with that like, suede and this um, perforated suede or yeah. perforated kind of material. For, main, for maintenance purposes, that's great. Yeah. I like that's it. Great. I like it a lot. We know, we that, know how knitting. And with the black um, the black leather wings, I just, the, the outsole. Beautiful, uh, bro. Beautiful, bro. It's, it's nice, but when I, when I look at it, Oh no, bro! I can't hear. I, I can't knock it. I don't. Yeah, I, it's, I, it's, there are things about it I don't like, but I don't knock it. It's nice. Yeah, it, it's. The, I, I personally think it's dope. A dope, dope release. And this is obviously we look, it looks like when the craft wave. Obviously, it does look like we we're gonna get more craft sneakers on that. On that, just what other craft sneakers would you like to see? Would you like to see a craft free? Because it's gonna happen. Hmm. We get craft. I mean, I got the camo threes. That's like a, yeah. a craft three to me. Potentially, that's a proto- prototype to the craft three. Yeah, the Shashika Four could be a uh, prototype to the Craft Four. It is. Yeah. That pe- do I need to pull out another sneaker? Nah, you're you're okay with that one, bro. No, no, <laughs> because, no, because you, 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 you dead on. You you dead on once again. We'd be right, bro. Because basically, basically, like when we talk about the craft variation, the craft sneakers, that that whole that whole situation is based on the material blocking being different on a Look, sneaker. Yeah, that patch. Oh, oh, bro! I yeah. I said it out of the blue. I didn't realize it had the patch on the and back, look, bro. It's got netting, but this this is thread. This is not plastic. That's so, so the Shishiko is a prototype for the Craft 4. 100%. And so the Camo 3 is a prototype for the Craft 3 that we might get. More than likely. Hey, hey, we've been hitting some home runs on the podcast, bro. <laughs> We're going to stop. We're going to stop hey? saying everything. Uh, I just, I just... I just, just dumbfounded at the fact that we we just basically say stuff and without without off the cusp that that just came into my mind. The Shishiko Four the material block is different. It, mm-hmm. it, it reminds me of a Craft Four. Anyway, it is it is not officially a Craft Four, but it reminds me yeah, that that is the material blocking that makes the Craft Four and the Craft Five so special. So from that perspective, the Shishiko, Shishiko to me then is a prototype to the Craft Four and the Camo Three, Joe Jordan Three Camo is going to be the prototype for the Camo or the, the Craft Three that we potentially could get in the next year or two. And that's a shower because they they're going to just going to keep expanding it. We have already seen the Craft Two, haven't we? Yep. Yep. Exactly. So we've seen the Craft One, <coughs> Craft Two, Craft Four, Craft Five. We're going to definitely this see is different Craft materials. Three. Yeah. Different material. But with the fours, they definitely that that little patch on the lateral uh, collar came from gives you that indication. Yeah, but I'm I'm here 
for and when you, when you talk about innovations, I'm here for innovations like this. I'm here for different like different aspects of the sneakers like this. I love I love this. I absolutely love the the, the complexity of of the material blocking on the sneaker that makes it look different. I'm down for that. I'm absolutely down for that. Uniqueness is the key to success sometimes. And this is why I do believe even with the woven wave, even with the, the actual craft wave, it's it's different to a point where it makes you think differently about the sneaker because it's not exactly an OG. But sometimes you are, uh, bro, OG or everything. We love OGs. We pick up OGs. I will pick up every OG that comes out that I like, right? In terms of my silhouettes and sneakers I like. But when you, when you release sneakers like the craft variations or the 85 cuts or even the shishikos and the camos, animal prints, uh, all of that stuff is so unique and so different that it's so good to have in your rotation to make yeah. it, to make that uniqueness. It'd be the one the one offs and the, um, the yep. first ofs. That that's that's kind of my um, that's kind of been my focus. Yeah, for the most part with um my collection at this point i just want to have i want i want don't get me wrong i want everything <laughs> but i'm i'm not going to wear everything you know yeah I, unfortunately that that's the life of a sneaker like i'm sitting here and um, i i if I had the money to do it, I would get everything I want. I'm talking about every single release I want. I've I've actually I've actually not gone for some releases. I'm waiting for some sales. I'm I'm not kind of bought everything out there because I I'm tempted to still get like the the, the lucky green twos or um the, I go back and get the camel threes or go back and get like even the shishikos or a dope, dope sneaker just stuff like that. Um I'm I'm tempted like but the thing is. And first of all, you can't wear everything. Second of all, you can't buy everything because of you can't wear everything. And third of all, finance. So basically, all all of those combined. Maybe in the future, who never knows? Two years time, uh, we both could be in a position where we're like, all right, cool, we just buy everything, whatever, because we can afford it. But then it doesn't make logical sense just just from that. No. You can't wear it, bro. Yeah, I still wouldn't. I mean, shout out to people that that do that. I mean, I see that a lot, and. I don't feel no kind of way about it no more. I used to I, I used to yeah, feel yeah. some kind of way a little bit. You can't knock you can't knock people for buying whatever they want, bro. No. Even if it's every single pair. Because but at the end of at the end of the day, it, this is that's the passion. And when we talk about passion, that's all about passion, bro. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot, man. But, it's a lot. <laughs> But last subject that we need to discuss uh, on this main subject is this bro is the nike nike is swapping around ceos they're looking for a breakthrough in, in in innovations they've got too many unwanted jordans piling up and air max is piling up um is that is first of all is that a consequence of their own re repercussions of what they've been doing by oversaturating the market no they're giving but is is that just well, them yes. giving what we want yes um We talked about this months ago. Yep. Um, the pandemic, the 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 backlash, if you will, from the pandemic ending. Yep. See, the thing the thing about the pandemic that we all had to come to the realization about whether we know it or not is it jammed us up at the beginning. Yep. It jammed us up at the end. When people, when the world finally settled into the pandemic and established a new norm, mm -hmm. we had, of course, we had resistance. We had pushback. We all had resistances to different things. Some of us um, just went with it. I'm one of those people because I had to, I was still working. I didn't miss one single day of work throughout the pandemic because no, it was a pandemic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I did get COVID a couple of times. Um, but outside of that, it was business as usual for the most part. Masked up, gloved up, sanitized up, all that, right? Yeah, yeah. So... 
when we talked about what Nike and Adidas, Yeezy, um, Puma, all the all the sneaker companies did during the pandemic and what was gonna happen when people went back outside is what we looking at right here. Mm-hmm. That's, that's the repercussions of the co- of of um, COVID, pretty much as well. Um, but I do believe the that norm, have been... the new norm didn't last. Yep, yep, yep. So somebody made some bad predictions, which is fine. That happens in business. Uh, Nike was getting a lot of money. Adidas, a lot. Everybody, New Balance. They was getting a lot of money during the pa- pandemic because the resale business was booming. It was it was out of here. Mm-hmm. Everybody was a reseller. All the people, all the scammers, all the the drug dealers, all the working class people, people that stopped working and was getting the the uh, the pandemic money. We just gonna call it the pandemic money because there were so many different ways that people get money. money during the pandemic, a lot of that was going to the sneaker game and the companies, despite how crazy the world was going, were thriving. Mm-hmm. And they missed the pivot point. When, they, when, missed, when they missed the pivot point. So basically, when when it basically went back into pre-COVID, when it started to go back into like 2015, 2016, that that that's when they should have realized. But like, I think I think to to be honest, so post-COVID, I think a lot of um, the brands started doing a lot more like the power wave, the the comp- the concepts and uh, collaborations, a lot more collaborations. Or well, well, we saw it collaborations in in COVID, but we saw more of them uh, post-COVID as well, just to keep, keep lighting the fire under the hype to keep keep it burning to keep the resale burning unfortunately you can only do that for so long before the fuel runs out and all of a sudden people don't want to camp around your fire and that that's actually literally what, what's happening now um how many air maxes have we seen in the last couple of years bro after covid that's been it's been crazy jordan ones have been just doing what jordan ones do for, that basically keep coming out um and um, people are like moving away from it so now maybe like you said they missed the pivot point and now they're like maybe we missed uh, we maybe should kind of retract for some of these, but the thing is, down. and and I agree with that, but I do feel like they want to keep that momentum from COVID because obviously they were getting a lot more money from the consumer, and, they, and like like if you if you did a statistic on sales pre COVID, sales during COVID, sales after COVID, and sales right this moment in time, two years later, you'd see a natural incline in COVID. And now you're seeing that, like you said, that pivot point decline into our post COVID, mm-hmm. and this is this is and what they what they're trying to do is to the new high. It's like it's almost like uh, trying to always try to get that new high, and you're trying to get that new high, but you can't because this is what the brands keep kind of trying to light this fuel under under their collect the brand to actually keep producing innovation, to keep producing ideas. To, keep producing newer things to keep that new high sale up there and, and like we talk about we, we we kind of laugh at adidas or not laugh at adidas we kind of look at adidas and say they've got reduction of sales because of the yeezy um situation but is it because of the Yeezy situation or is it because also that's compounded on the fact that they're not selling as much because covid during covid they were selling as much were they well, they still had Yeezy, um, so that is actually comp- compounded. The, the that situation. was it, though. Like no, it's compounded they, the situation, they, but they had Yeezy and they, they had Bad Bunny. They still they right. still sell out with the gazelles and the superstars and all the you know show the clothes casual, and stuff like that. The casual stuff, yeah, I yeah, don't, exactly. I, I, that didn't change for them. I don't think that changed for them much. Um, <clears throat> Dude, I mean, if we, I'm, we're not we're not casual guys. I mean, shout out to Mars. Uh, yep. I think this this is a, a better conversation to have with him being present as far yep, yep. as uh, the casual culture. But what my my question for that is, um, 
how big of a part of their uh, annual revenue is the casual culture represented. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, versus, but like versus said, just, you know, um, just they, they regular walk-in store sales or, or you know, um, sales from sponsorships or whatever the case is, you know. Or just just yeah, their I, reputation, you know. Adidas I, is, is a big brand and some people love and swear by. Some people would never I, wear Nikes because they love Adidas so much. You know, the opposite and, and, and a, Exactly. The opposite of you is, is, is that it's a, it's a cold planer. It's, it's like literally it's just, a, it's, just a, it's a spectrum of where you are. Like some people are in the spectrum of the Adidas range and some people are in the spectrum of the Nike range and the Jordan range. But like, w- when I when I talk about this, when I mention this, it's like um, I know it had a massive impact. A Yeezy had a massive impact on Adidas. By I do agree with that. It kind of they have a hole to fill, and I think the fear of God is what they're relying on, which is which is awesome because some of the stuff that's coming out there is, looks dope. But when we're talking about stuff like that, like it kind of, I do believe even with Yeezy on board, they would have seen a natural decline in sales anyway. Because obviously at that point we were getting declining sales and uses anyway because a lot of people were moving away from Yeezys uh, naturally because obviously there was an oversaturation in the market. And this is a problem the brands those, always have. Those all the, all the, you know, the antics and whatnot. People were yeah, yeah, exactly. Away. Before, you exactly. know, the anti-Semitic stuff took him down, he was yep. running around with, you know, white supremacists and backing Trump and talking about running yeah, for yeah, president yeah. and all that stuff. A lot of people didn't like that so yeah I mean, this is what it's burning, not too- people was burning yeezys because of his trump relationship before the anti-semitic before the anti-semitic stuff. yeah and th- this is why they start to retract away from or, or draw away from the yeezy brand so naturally that was going to happen and that's that's been happening du- uh, during covid as well so i can i can understand that but like for me it's is it was a natural progression of of what was going to come out from COVID anyway. And shout out to Ego Souls uh, on Instagram. Oh, he's the bro. He actually mentioned this during COVID. He says, "Wait until COVID's over, you'll find out what the real sneaker market's like." And we are yeah. actually experiencing the real sneaker market. So yeah. shout out to the bro for saying that. Um, it's not only me and Q that says it can constantly say things right. All the bro say things constantly right because we always talk and we always have these discussions off off the podcast as well. But um, for me. At this, at this moment in time, yeah, there was a natural digression anyway. So, and with with natural digression from COVID, and from oversaturation from the brands, this is what was naturally going to happen. And you know, when you say you missed the pivot point, that's that's what happened because we started to we like. If you really break this down, and this is getting really deep now. If you really break this down, the collaborations that Adidas did with the designer brands was the reason why they wanted to push out more regular uh, ZXs and Gazelles and all of that stuff, superstars. And that was the drive for the collaborations with the the high-end brands because everybody was looking at those colorways like they were dope, but they're quite expensive. I'll wait for the regular release. And then when they released a similar colorway to the designer brands, people were jumping on that, which is which is a dope, this which is a dope strategy anyway. Then we saw with Jordan brand with the collaborations, the Sakai, the unions, the the what do you call it, the concepts, the uh, Travis. All of that was a drive to keep the sales up. And the, you can understand because you don't want to lose the sale incentive from COVID. Now, because you've done that, you've oversaturated the market massively. Right. And um, and an example of how relevant Yeezy was was Yeezy Day this week that's happened. Bro, some of those peers sat for for ages, like the car the carbon belugas and the Onyx 350s sat there for ages. Because yeah, there was saw, no real, I could have grabbed yeah. my stars and <laughs> I saw I exactly. a couple of them, and that's a great indication. Even though we've hadn't haven't had Yeezys for two years, there was no real hype on those pairs. A lot of people are was... off him too, though. A lot more people are off him right now too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you you can understand all of that now, like. That was always going to be the case. That was always going to be the case. And over, like, like I said, oversaturation of the market is going to cause this effect, downturn effect on your sales because there's not sneakers, a lot of sneakerheads buy sneakers because they're exclusive and a lot of sneakerheads now. And you know what? It's even compounded it even further. 
the current climate, the fact that the cost of living is high, that all compounded it. Yeah. So when you when you miss, when you say you missed the pivot point, that's that's the pivot yeah. point, bro. It's, it's not. <laughs> it ain't twenty twenty no more, bro. Mm-hmm. You might you might make your money back if you're selling online. Yep. And that that depends on what it is you're trying to flip. Yep. I mean, it's it's, it's not. This ain't that no more. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's few and far between. You know, we go. We, those are the ones that we talk about um, at length. The ones that we covet, and people that know know, ain't no more. Every weekend, trying to buy every size and make a fifty, sixty, hundred dollar profit on. No, it's no longer that case. It's, it's no over. longer that case, bro. It's that, way that, over. Those days. Are- Bro, we we three, bro, we three years, we three years past that date, bro. Three years. Bro, I saw pandas sitting on the shelf. Yeah, I know. They've been sitting there. They've been sitting there from the last release. I walked in. I walked into a local sneaker shop and saw panda dunk lows sitting on the shelf. It's over. Bro, Dor- <laughs> Dorothy has Dorothy has left Oz. She's she's got her red slippers on and said, "Take me home, take me home, take me home," and it's all done and dusted because Dorothy is no longer in Oz. We are no longer three years old uh, from COVID. We are three years advanced from COVID, bro. Because yeah. basically, it means that the strategies change, bro. Strategies change all the time. If you don't adapt your strategy, if you don't adapt to the times, you will be left behind. And this. I'm not saying Jordan Brown or Nike or Adidas have been left behind. They don't haven't assessed the market. Uh, we've been saying we've been saying it through COVID, just off, just just recently after COVID, they need to stop down on the Jordan One because there's too many Jordan Ones coming out. It's a little too many. It's just out. a little bit too much, bro. They yeah, they can slow down. <sighs> they can slow down 20 percent on releases. Yep, yep, and I, and and I think they might do that. I, I think, think they might do that cool. with this. It'll I, it'll still be because because we still get those months. Like we just we just talked about everything that's coming out in June, right? June and we dry. still because every time we do it, the day after or the week after, it's five more sneakers that popped up that's coming out that month. Mm-hmm. You know, now remember or something, remember something from July might might slide back into June. Or something from June might move into July, or you know, stuff. It's so, it's so much, bro, and so much. It's so much dope stuff coming out, bro. Remember, remember, I said, remember, I said to you, I, I hope, I know, I, I think the Jordan One Lost and Found is the big deal, like the last big Jordan One, and then they might, they, I would think they'll start to produce the Jordan One releasing. That hasn't happened, and that, that was me. Trying to indicate to the brand, you need to slow down. You really need to slow down because your GR Jordan ones ain't selling out anymore. Yeah, you really cool. do. We be wrong too sometimes. Yeah, we be wrong too sometimes. But <laughs> on that occasion, on that occasion, on that occasion, we are. All right, go. The collab, <laughs> take the collaborations out. Take the collaborations out of the equation. Because we're talking about general release sneakers. Yeah, we're yeah. talking about. Laney's, we're talking about pine green ones, we're talking about the what do you call it, the elephant pit ones, we're talking about even yeah, the definitely. we're talking about sneakers that just come out and have no relevant meaning, but they're still special. A Laney one is dope, bro, absolute dope sneaker. But when I'm when I talk about these type of sneakers will go and sit and go and sell eventually. And this is what we're talking about. Not union ones, not lost and found Chicago reimagined because they're always going to sell out. We're talking about those type of sneakers because at the end of the day, it's good to see it's good to see them go and sell. But now, obviously, looks like Jordan Brand are thinking about repurposing some of those CEOs in different positions to get any innovations. Like I had this discussion with you offline. I'm like, if you want innovations, there's loads of innovators out there. We've just given like a couple of ideas on the podcast. We, you can go and hire a cool guy or a shoe surgeon to come into in-house to the brands and kind of make some innovation. There's a lot of potential out there for the brands. There is definitely a lot of potentials out there for the brand. If I was, if I was in the CEO position in Nike, I'll be looking at customizers, ideas. I'll be looking at hiring people to come in and bring that innovation with them. I'll be looking at new 
aspects of design, new aspects of what, how we can do things better, strategize better. And also on top of that, bro, there's, there's talent out there outside the brand. Yeah, I think, I think personally, you can do what you want in, within the band, in, within the brands themselves, but there's so much potential in the community. They need to reach out to the community and say, all right, cool, we need your help here. And then we're going to give them grief when they work with the person once or twice and then do something similar without them. So, But that's the way <laughs> the, 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 com, the com, 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 consumerism works, bro. It's I was trying to get my words out. That's consumerism. It's going to be three Kai Jordans, and then all of a sudden it's going to be a Jordan 1 uh, remix that – that got elements from the, the cool car joke. <laughs> and we gonna be like, it's a poor man's car. <laughs> <laughs> you are right there. I you are not right there. You are right there. But uh, bro, when I talk about when I talk about innovations, when we talk about the, the complexities of design and different fabrics and different material blockings, and when we talk about different, like, bro, you just need to roll our podcast for the last three, four, five weeks, and you listen to all of the ideas infused in that, into our podcast. I'm not saying Nike and Jordan Brown or Adidas should be hiring us for this stuff, but all I'm saying is there's ideas out there from a lot of people that kind of could get involved mm -hmm. and could get involved with the brands that could actually elevate the design aspect and bring some more inspirations and breakthrough inspirations and innovations. Um, this is where we're at with the situation, and, and, I think. And that's why we don't stop until we get to a point where they can't deny and yeah. we'll go from there. That's why we're going to stop. We got, we're going to stop. We're going to stop giving all the ideas. We're just going to just do it. <laughs> we just do it. It's going to be, it's going to be some moments in the future where it's going to seem like we're going to say something. Because I wanted to stop you. It was one point. I wanted to stop you today. But yeah. I, I didn't... This this time I was right not to stop you. Yeah. But the other two times where I should have stopped you, I didn't see it coming and I don't appreciate it. So we can stop. <laughs> we can stop. We're gonna do it. We said it on here. And you know, no, 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 no. Hey, don't don't apologize. Gotta do it to my skill too. And well we say it, we most of the most of the time we do it. Ninety percent of the time once we when we say it on here, we do it. So Yeah. yeah. But 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 the thing, the thing is, it, the reason why we say and do stuff on the podcast is like, guys, I'm going to be honest. On the on the Sunday when I sit down and do the podcast with Q, I'm excited to do the podcast. I'm excited to kind of give my thoughts that haven't been materialized yet onto the mic because obviously this is like live. This is not scripted. We we talk from the heart. We talk with the passion that we bring to the podcast, and this is one take and done. Like we don't edit this. Like we don't go back and edit clips unless there's a technical fault. And when you're excited. And you're passionate. This is what happens. You end up saying stuff that you're not meant to say yeah. on the podcast, and yeah. and that, that's the realism. That's the realistic um, side to it because it's not because we want the next idea, we want the next revolution, we want the the next thing, we want it to ourselves. We we bring the passion and the love for it, and it naturally comes out. And unfortunately, that's always going to be the case. It might not be the case. You might see us like kind of tag some stuff and write some stuff down so I should have wrote it down because I've wrote a couple of notes down off the podcast already but unfortunately guys like it's like I said passion just passion well and now it's time to go <laughs> do you want to do this time. week do you want to do this week's um, sneaker court we ain't got no court bro I okay cool I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't charging I'm not I can't charge Nike or any other other brands for um because we called it. Yeah, you called it. For, you know, for 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 what we feel is um and was being reported as a bad strategy coming out of the pandemic. We called it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be right. But, okay, cool. No, no sneaker court for this week, but the, I'm just gonna share this quickly with you guys because this is what I was gonna say to court. Um yes, don't don't be oh, this um <laughs> hey. I forgot about that. No, that 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 um, <laughs> what's the dude's name? Uh, the Young Bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wrestlers. Yeah. Um, they 
like I was telling you the other day, yesterday, they um they do stuff with shooters. Um, they got the Jordan Spider Man uh, next chapter and put fireworks. One of the dudes put fireworks in the hill and did a super kick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's goofy. It's goofy and dangerous, but it's it's pro wrestling. With it. like that's what yeah. pro wrestling is. It's goofy and dangerous. Don't don't try this at home, guys. And on 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 that note, I'm gonna just say quickly, if I can put it. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Guilty for this, foolish behavior. That was a quick, this, quick that was that was a semi, semi half half a court case. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, because that's what that's what they do, bro. I mean, we, we both watch wrestling growing up. I don't keep up um uh, I think as much as you do nowadays. I don't think you really keep up that much, do you? Yeah, I keep I keep up from time to time. TikTok is my friend when it comes to most of the wrestling okay, stuff. Okay. Yeah, but I I mean they do stuff with Jays. They wear Jays all the time. You know, they wear good sneakers all the time. Yeah. But, Blood, bloodlines um, the Spider-Man's ain't pushing. going for much. So I mm-hmm. can understand them, you know, because they probably got nice budgets, you know, oh, yeah. Yeah. making good money. So they, whoever, shout out, I guess, I guess, shout out to whoever customized that. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it was a moment, you know, it was a moment, yeah. a pro wrestling moment. Man get kicked in the head from Spider-Man's and then, Sparks pop out of his forehead. Why well, kick fight? That that's literally kicking the fire. At that boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ever heard somebody say, "I slap, I slap the fire"? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard he that. Fire that boy. <laughs> <laughs> but make sure you're not. Um, make sure you don't act on this foolish behavior because otherwise you. Be- oh my god! Conrad Borier to the rescue every day coming back with another chapter of the Shooter oh, podcast bro. he's our mascot for the year bro <laughs> definitely you're going to see more and more of him I'm ready I'm ready alright on that note thank you for tuning in guys and Q call us out bro call us out call us out yo man we appreciate everybody all the audio listeners all the YouTube viewers all the IG subscribers TikTok uh, followers subscribers all that man Hit all them buttons, man. Comments. Hit us up in the DMs. Don't come with no scams, bro. We ain't going for no scams. Okay. (laughs) And everybody have a great day. Great week. Great month. Great year. And hopefully everybody can cop. Stay away from um, stuff I want, man. Get the other stuff. (laughs) (laughs) Stay away from size. US size 11, UK size 10. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave them alone. for you. You know, you know what, you know what, you, you. you'll be, you'll be, you'll be standing in the store and saying UK, UK ten, US eleven sneakers, and you were like, not for you. And then every time you'll be the bouncer at the shop, and you're like, you're like, um, what size you want? A size size eleven US, not for you. Exit, please. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we'll tell, we'll tell you about them on the podcast and the reviews, all right? <laughs> yeah, that's what you need to know. <laughs> On that note, peace out, guys. Peace. <laughs>